Krabby. What's up? Good.
your hair and your fucking mane. Seriously, again, we just went through this in the stables. Go back in there and fix yourself. There you go. It's fucking worse. Hey, awkward, what's up? Thank you for the follow. Oh, she never comes out right. Every fucking time. Oh, you little shit. I swear to God. Oh, well. No, the hair and the mane are wrong. It's just, it, it just every time. I can't get this horse to come out with the right shit. No matter what I do, it's just fucking irritating. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Small things. Yeah, it is weird. It happens all the fucking time. I mean, and... I can flee him and she'll go back and sometimes she'll come out right. Oops. I'll try it again in a minute. Yeah, it is weird. Not a big deal though in the scope of things. Yeah, no worries. No worries. No worries, it's just my horse is an asshole, that's the problem. You just aren't going to do it today, are you? You're not going to do it. Hello? Hello? Hello there? Hey! Oh, uh, would you happen to be a Miss Demeter? Oh, it's you again. You're number 0129, right? Uh, yes, I, uh... Yeah, that's me, Dilly Demeter. What's up? I have a... I have, um... A word of mouth that needs to get to you saying that a person named Cult in the saloon at Valentine wants to speak to you and um, one baked good. Okay. By a woman named Dorothy, I believe. Oh, Dorothy, huh? Uh, uh, somebody named Colt? A chocolate? What the fuck? A chocolate cookie? Oh, a woman after my own heart. Oh, Lord. Who gave this to you? A woman who I believe to be named Dorothy. Oh, God bless her heart. All right, well, I'm heading to Valentine. By the way, uh, you need to feed your horse. Holy shit. Hey, uh, you said that 
someone named Colt is looking for me? Last name, yes. Last name, Colt. Oh, okay. Got you, got you. Uh, also, ma'am, I do feed my horse. She's just very skinny. What is she, what's her name? Her name I, is Patty. I'm sorry. I've got to run back to Valentine. I have a delivery I have to pick up. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's good to see you, by the way. Yes. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. I gotta hurry. Hey, Sonny, what's up? How you doing? Oh, Lord, this is going to be cold, but we got to hurry. We got to hurry. Or maybe I can. Maybe we do it here instead. Not so cold, huh? Oh, okay. A little cold. Come on, hurry, Passioni. We gotta pick up. That crazy old woman, she's gonna ditch us if we don't hurry. Oh, not yet. Go, 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 go. Come on, horse. Oh, fuck this cold. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Oh, why, why? Hurry. Chocolate cookie. <laughs> Woman after my own heart. Let's see her. Oh, carrots, carrots, where are you? Asione, don't stop on me now. Why the fuck is nothing? Okay. My mouse is literally just jiving up here. Come on, let's go. Come on. Uh, I haven't been able to buy it back yet because it's expensive. Woo! Sorry about that. Why do I think this is probably going to end up with me fucking over my head? I need to be careful here. Come on. Come on, boys. We're going to hurry. Sorts. Oh, it's days like this. I wish I was faster. A goodie box for Christmas. <laughs> we need the Christmas trees. That's what I want. Hey, thank you for the follow, you are. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I don't. I don't need baked goods right now. <laughs> You're just gonna make me fat. Hey, Eeyore. Come on in, pull up a chair. Okay, come on, Pasini. Hurry up, we're almost there. Come on, that old bitch ain't gonna wait forever. <laughs> An Ikea tree, yeah. <laughs> we have an abundance of those here in Sweden. I don't think you need to do that. <laughs> My whole house is Ikea, man. What are you talking about? Restart? Oh, this is a uh, this is judgment. This isn't gold. Are you thinking of, I'm not on gold rush? I'm on judgment right now. It's 
so you can uh, jump in anytime you want. <laughs> I kind of hop around. Sorry. I, I think I have judgment in my title. I should. Or don't I? Holy shit. I need to double check that. Oh, it's judgment. <laughs> no, it's no problem. It's no problem. I kind of hop around a lot, so. All right. Go, go, go. All right, I'm a little late, I apologize. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. See you again next time. Where's the fucking ladder? Where is the goddamn ladder? I cannot remember. Oh, here it is. amusing as fuck. All right. All right, Vasily. We got business to do. No more fucking around. We need to start moving some shit. Hey, cat. What's up? Oh, my God. How are you? Guys, Catling Gun used to RP with me on Daisy. She's very good, but she had a baby. And I don't think she's been RPing a lot, but I'm trying to convince her to come to Red M and come play with us. So everybody, like, shower her with love and tell her how wonderful she is, even though you don't know her. Yeah, well, come and RP with us. Oh, my God. Cat, Cat, please, I'm begging you. Oh, my God. You would just fucking love this shit. I, we, need, we need criminals. Come and bring us in. <laughs> Cat is good at crim RP, by the way. Yes. See, Heike, I'm telling you, Cat, you would love her. You would absolutely fucking love her. She's She's actually really talented. Incredibly talented. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes. I do believe Cotton would adore her, actually. I think you would probably dump us all for, for her. Oh, nice, nice. Well, I certainly would love to have you. I mean, I'd love to see you again. Yeah, Cotton, you would totally dump everybody for Cat. She's adorable. Adorably evil. But good, in a way. I don't know how to explain her character. She's She was, uh... She was, uh... Oh, my God. Well, hello. What's everybody up to? Yeah. Hi. It's my great friend, Tilly. Zelda. Whoa, Zelda, is that you? Well, hi, Tilly. Hello. Oh, hi there. Oh, yeah, hey. Hey, what's up, Lu hey, Lucius? And, oh, look at you, AJ. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, nothing much. I just got here to give uh, Lucius his uh, Springfield back because he let me borrow it after mine got robbed last night. Who fucking robbed you? A uh, little t uh, Timmy and Luna. Oh, God, those two. Yeah. yeah, I saw them before I went to sleep. Yeah, I was just on my way to bed, and they were there, and I was like... Haha, yeah, Kat, she was complex, and that's what made her so beautiful. I mean, she was... But she was literally... Yes, be I glad mean, that you... Uh, you are so good at it. And we would oh, my they God. Were we could really use you night. right now, I'm telling you. Oh, they very much You were. would be such a great asset. Oh, my God. Plus, I would just love seeing you Has anybody seen Buck, by the way? I don't know. I'm just waking I'm up, so I need to go around and... Uh, I need to go around and see what the hell's going on around here. I got a package from Buford. Oh, I, oh, I hi, beautiful. What's up? Outside earlier, but outside. Yeah, okay. he was walking towards the stables. All right. Who? Buford. I got a cookie. Don't get yourself wrapped up in that. I got a cookie. Wrapped what? up in what? What? Me? The whole Buford shit. I, I. No, only... not you, CJ. Not you. No. Oh, oh, okay. me? oh, me? Me? <laughs> yeah. I'm like what? What? What do you mean? I don't know Buford what you're talking is, about. Buford has been acting like a little child. Yeah, Buford's probably having a bad day or something. I've, I've noticed he's been a little crabby. A bad week, apparently. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i go kick him in the ass. No, I... Huh? Do you not... This, huh? This was fucking last night, Tilly. I remember clearly what happened last night. That's why I'm going to go kick him in the ass. Yes. <laughs> oh, Extra tired. hard for me, thank I, you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> shit away before I get fucking robbed or something. Hello, little lady. Oh shit, you startled me. Hey, how are you? Things have been okay. What are you doing besides kicking people's ass? Oh, not a, not a lot, unfortunately. But I'm working on it. I got things to do. Wow. Well. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Kat. Thank you. It's good you to see you. Love you. No. Uh, Elsie? Yeah. No, not today, but I just woke up too, so I, I'm I'm kinda Good morning. Hey, good morning. You're stuck with me now. Oh I am. Oh well yeah. I can I get annoyed by you. Oh I think I can live with that. Well hopefully you can. <laughs> if I need... not I'll just disappear, I don't need. Yeah, well some people are good at that. I'm not I try to disappear, but it never works for me. Where the hell is the, everybody? Buford, Buford needed to talk to me about something. I'm trying to find him. Well, uh, there's people in the saloon at your channel. Or the net, I haven't seen many people. I saw a buck oh. and a rainer leave. But I don't think they saw me follow them. Well, probably not. Hmm. Hunter, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you are. I didn't even recognize you. I just saw the gray hair sticking out. Silver hair, excuse me. No, I'm gray. Are you? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forget. Young at heart, right? I wish. Are you old at heart, too? Old and grumpy. Uh, I'm not grumpy. I just got business to take care of. Need to get shit moving. But I need to find Buford. Let's get business moving, then. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I bought a gun. Oh, you did, did you? That's uh, good, because I fucking have all kinds of guns. But you ask me if I know how to use them. I don't. I bought... Whatever it is. Oh, that? It works. 
Yeah. I can't shoot for shit, but I can twirl it. All right. It's Where not the about fuck? how you use the tools. How many hits? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're probably not wrong about that. We gotta find one. You know, send me a package and say you need to talk to me, and I can't fucking find him. I got a cookie, though. I'm happy. I don't even want to eat the cookie because it looks so pretty. It's just gonna turn green and blue the longer you keep it. I know. I wish it wouldn't do that, but... Like, where the fuck is Buford? I saw him not so long ago. Yes. Like 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. Strange. Hmm. Well, I wonder the little bar isn't open, is it? What the fuck? This that is so, thing, so irritating. I guess I'll just go down to Blackwater and open up the Queen. Yes, let's be angry. Mmm, angry is good. I never get to be grumpy. You don't? No, I don't really have many reasons, though. Yeah, who needs a reason? Pissed off now. Uh huh. That easy? You're up are... early or during the weekends? Where the fuck is everybody? Yeah. Uh, AJ went up with. Thank you for the sub, Maddie. To talk to him. Uh, the rest of the people, I don't know. I'm gonna go around. open the queen. I don't know where the fuck everybody is, but I ain't messing around with this shit. I'm just gonna go open the bar. Right. Love you. <laughs> Love you. I wonder if they're... I think they're in. No. People are everywhere? Yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna go open the bar, though. Which I one? got shit to do. The Queen of Cups in uh, Blackwater. Oh, look, there's little horsey. What about little horsey? Uh, yeah, it is. A, I guess it is a little horsey. It's a very disobedient horse. What's their name? Her name is Passione. It means passion in Romanian. That's a beautiful name. That's my horse. What's your horse's name? Brittany. Brittany? Brittany. <laughs> It's a beautiful name too. What is it? Why did you pick just that one? It's the name of my daughter. Oh, you have a daughter? I used to. What happened to her? Fire. What? Same thing as Zelda. F did you say fire? Mm-hmm. Ugh. Sorry to hear that. I guess in a way, I've never had children. Zelda lost a lot of things in her life all at the same time. Sorry to hear that. And Zelda lost her two kids and her husband and her babies and her sanity all in one night. What happened? Mm, Zelda's partner was not a good man and he was part of a, a group a bad group of people and one day before I met him he stole all their stuff their weapons and their supplies and then he ran and then he met Zelda and then after a long time they caught up to him mm. and they burned everything Zelda had are these people still alive? And so I'm not sure. Because it sounds to me like someone needs to fucking burn. I'm sorry for your loss. I didn't know that about you. There's a lot of things people don't know about Zelda. Hmm. There's a lot of things people don't know about Tilly. I guess we all have our secrets, don't we? It's not that much of a secret. People just don't ask much about well, me. Well, that's that's a good point. I'm just Nobody. Sure let's be people. let's be honest here. There are a lot of people who ask a lot about anyone. I've been asking about people, but then people uh, think I'm noisy. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much the problem I have too. They think I'm nosy as well. But you know, it's a bartender. It's my job to know everything about everyone. People do not listen. And not only do they not, do they not listen, they're not interested really either. 
That's the tragedy of it all. Mm-hmm. We always avoid them, do we? Me? Mm -hmm. No, I spend most of my life in gypsy caravans. Telling fortunes, Gypsies. traveling on the road, petty thievery. Gypsies are travelers, but like a family. Yes. I never found it. I don't know why. I never felt comfortable. But I learned a lot from them. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. But I just never found what I was looking for. I never found that family feeling that everybody talks about. You think what it was there, mean? but... Maybe you have found it, but you just refuse to accept it as it was. If that makes sense. And so does not sure it does. Oh shit, hold on. Oh shit, hold on. Oh, mm -hmm. Getting a better position here. Are they gone or are they still chasing us? They are everywhere. It's hard to see with these goggles. Yeah, they're going back across the water. They're just waiting for us to cross. Uh, let me see how I can do this. I'll cross further down, I guess. You can also take the bridge. That is true. That's a good idea. Oh my god, but I gotta go all the way back up to take the bridge, don't I? <laughs> nah, fuck that. We'll be all right. Zelda so is in an everlasting struggle of finding a purpose. What? Are you still? You happy? struggle to find your purpose? Yeah, Zelda so does. I used to have Oof, purpose. sorry, it's cold. I just don't want the wolves. You used so to have what? I feel cold and oh, I used right. to have a purpose. I used to watch over Clover like a little guardian angel. Clover. Yeah, I don't even know what happened to her. So does having that purpose make you feel better about yourself? Yeah. There's a reason to breed. There's always a reason to breathe. Mm, gets my mind distracted. What do you what do you need to distract it from? Memories or what? Yeah. One day she went. Sorry to interrupt. One day Clover just kind of disappeared. He had a kid and I never saw her again. Yes. Hey, thank you for the follow, Steve. I know she disappeared. She disappeared from my life as well. Along with the Mosleys and all of them. Mm. But it is what it is. I have a job to do and... I don't know. I'll just keep doing it. It's a nice job, bartending. It is. It is. I don't really have a job. I just come from town to town once in a while, clean the graveyard and make my leave. Why do you satisfy yourself like that then? Why don't you do more?
Where the fuck happened to Tommy? Would you? What the fuck happened to Tommy Traeger? Do you know anything about that? I know he died. That's the How thing. the fuck did he die? And what is this bullshit on the fin board about this guy claiming to have killed him? Who the fuck is it? Sabo's not showing. I didn't do as a duel. Well, that man just got a death mark on his head. I'll see him dead for that. I'm get your hands dirty now. You know what? My hands have been dirty for a long time. Gonna find a necessary evil. Take care of the work. Sometimes it feels good to do it yourself. And if Tommy's really dead, fuck that. You said you're not a good job. <laughs> They'll never see me coming. Sometimes you don't need guns to do a job. Just a well-aimed throwing knife. Something's on your mind. Yeah, I need to know what happened to Tommy. I need to talk to Buford. I can't find anybody. That's what's on my mind. So the only thing I can do is open the bar and wait. We can wait together. Yeah, that we can. Can I get you anything to drink? Depends what's on the menu. I have a very peculiar taste. Hmm, and what is your peculiar taste? Depends what's on the menu. Well, I mean, there's a lot of things on the menu, and then there's menus nobody knows about. So I need to know what your desire is. Hmm. Zoe usually doesn't really get too fancy because there ain't much of where I live. Hmm. Surprise me. All right. Give me a moment. All right, for the girl with the not so fancy taste. You brought me something special, haven't you? There you go. Pick it up fast. Mm, what's in that little jar? In what little jar? Mm. The one I gave you? Yeah. Oh, well, it's a little special homebrew for the not so fancy taste. Smells strong. It is strong. If that's not what you're looking for. You made this yourself? No. 
Mm. It comes in various tastes and different ways of creation. It does. I wonder what's used in this one. Uh, I do believe it's a pretty standard brew. Corn and such, but I don't make it myself. There's clearly someone you want revenge on, and I'm always highly against people like you getting their hands dirty. What's that? There's clearly someone that you are having problems with. No, I don't have wanna... problems with anyone. What about that person that did some stuff? Well, I need to find out who that person was. I don't even know what happened yet. Hello, can I help you? Uh, if you're talking, I can't hear you. Crap. This is a face I don't recognize. Mm -mm. No, I'm not having problems with anyone, but someone's about to have a problem with me if Tommy's really dead. I need to talk to Buford. I need to find out what's going on. Mm -mm. You know, I've just, I don't know. Zelda doesn't want to see a pretty woman like you getting hit. Me? I've had my ass kicked up and down for a long time. Nothing new here. You know what? Get right back up. Dust off the boots. Go back to work. Doesn't matter. I'm not planning on getting hurt anytime soon. Don't put yourself in too much danger. I'm not putting myself in anything. I need to find out who did this. I need to find out what happened. Once I do, yeah. Then I'll take the necessary steps, whatever they are, whether it's me or... If we need an expert, Zelda knows one. Duly noted. Atlas is a master of her trade. Who? Atlas. Don't believe I know that person. Hello. Uh, still nothing. Mm -mm. Uh, um. Do you need help with him? Um. It's a good question. It depends on what the pro can you can hear me, correct? Just nod if you can hear me. Or raise your hands, whichever is easier. Yeah. Okay. So the problem is is we're not hearing you. Give me one second here. Now are you completely new to the town? If you are, raise your hands. Okay. You need to make sure that... Uh, well, you have to... Uh, give me one second here. I'm muting the stream, guys. I gotta help this guy out for a second. Yeah, no, I can I can explain here, but I don't know if he's in my stream. So, uh, what what you need to do with the, with the in game voice is you you have to make sure the in game voice in Red M itself is turned off. 
or your team speak and salty chat won't work. So the in-game voice in the game actually has to be turned off. Uh, so that's what I was trying to explain to him. He's totally new to the server, so uh, see if that works for him. And usually you have to take a nap after you do that to make it work right, so. Ah, I apologize. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. So who is, did you say the name, uh, what did you say the name was? Atlas. Atlas? It's A T L E Z. Adles. With a I capital see. A. I see, I see. And who is this person? She's the person Zelda talks to when Zelda feels very lonely. Hmm. You know, I've spent most of my time since I came here just running a bar. I didn't ask for those things to happen, any of them. I didn't walk into them. I didn't cause them. I just... What things are you talking about? All of the things that happen in roads. Kidnapped twice. Once right out of the bar, once out of the telegram office. All for what? Apparently for having the wrong people around me. Wrong people. I guess somebody else decides who I'm supposed to like or dislike or have around me. The bar was being attacked constantly. Started with the Russians. They were good people. They were bringing in the crowds, making people laugh, giving people a good time. So I let them open the bar at night. But apparently they got, got on someone's bad side. I don't know. Something started with one of them and it snowballed into something so big, so incredibly destructive that we all almost lost ourselves. Did I ask for it? No. Did I walk into it? No. It just came. It came. But you know what? I'm not going to sit idly by anymore. I'm not going to wait for things to walk to my doorstep. I don't want to be that person anymore. I have things to learn, yes. Am I good with a gun? No. But you don't have to be good with a gun to get mm -hmm. shit done. I need to focus on what the things are that I'm strongest at and work from there. And if that means working behind the scenes, well, so be it. But sometimes you, you just want to there. get your fucking hands dirty to feel a little bit of that vindication. And Tommy Traeger was a friend of mine. He was a fucking friend of mine. You need, like, a puppet to mold you into something? I need to mold myself into something, a better something, a stronger something. So far, I haven't done that. I've been a weak, babbling mess of emotions. I don't want to be that anymore. All right. How is it going? God damn it, I still don't hear you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, do you have... Now, wait a minute. One more question for you, sir. Hold on. Let me go help this guy. Uh, Mr. Meter, you have a package. Oh, yes. Hello, 129. Um, you can call me Kurt. If you'd like. Oh, you. Oh, that's nice. I felt very odd calling you by a number, but last time we met, you. Uh, uh, I'm still not legally allowed to give my name. I got you. All right, Kurt. All right, another package. Uh, do you need to deal with something before you accept it? Uh, no. It's just someone having trouble with their voice. I don't know where he went though. So. I think you smoked way too many cigarettes. Anyway. There's a package for you, six throwing knives, as it seems. 
and a vocal message, um, I think by a person named Valdez, which is the one who sent the guys. Okay. He states to get two dirty whiskeys ready. All right. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Do you need any postage delivered? Uh, not just yet. I'm trying to get some information, but if I have need of your services, where could I find you? Well, you can use the notice board, or you can use my handle at the telegram station. All right. All right. Very well. It is a number sign before the numbers, and they are two separate. All right. All right. Got it. Well, I, as soon as I figure things out, I will most likely be needing your services. So, yes, thank All you right. very much. I look forward to it, miss. Yeah. Likewise. Have a nice day. You too. What a nice man. Yeah. Get some dirty whiskey ready, apparently. Yes, he is. Sounds like company might be on their way then. Sounds like it. All right, I think I know. If you give me one second again, hold on. Don't touch that. Don't touch that drink. That's not yours. I'll break your fingers. Okay, hold on. I'm going to just give me one second here. All right, guys, muting again. Apologies. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Apologies for that. It's no worries. So, you know, sometimes you get tired of having a... You get tired of other people doing your work for you, you know? I'm tired of being weak. I mean, you're only as weak as you make yourself believe. Yeah, probably, but I don't know how to shoot. Not good at hiding. But I am tired. What are you good at? What am I good at? Mm -hmm. People. Then that's what yeah, I, mean. I did. I just told him that. That's what I was telling him. Yeah, well. I want to be good at more than that. I don't want people to think they can just come and fuck with me like they have. Anymore. Break their kneecaps. They deserve it, I suppose. That's one way to teach people. What my pa used to do. People didn't pay the care she broke their knees. You met him before. Old man. Uh, Smokey? Rio. Rio. My dad. Ah, yes, I do remember him. He used to live in Armadillo with him and my sister. Who's your sister? Her name was Vivian. Vivian. Hmm. I'm tall and Asian woman. I feel like I have met her before. Well, she's about seven feet tall. I didn't really miss I her. I guess I would remember that, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. well, what do you do? Star. What do you do? What would you do? Yep. Look at you. You've lost your family. What did you do about it? It was very hard at first, and then over time when pain is too much, the brain starts to develop coping mechanisms. Hmm. I guess Double mine hasn't moment. developed them yet, because all I want to do is beat someone's ass. Well, that's a pretty good answer, too. 
AJ? AJ? So, yeah. Don't think you're you. That's bad. Hi, pretty woman. How are you? Hi. Uh, thirsty? <laughs> uh, those dirty whiskeys are for someone who's coming in. What can I get you to drink? Uh, do you have by any chance mint tea or lemonade? I do. Which would you like? Uh, five of them of each. All right. The mint tea is two dollars each. Well, a dollar actually, uh, it's a dollar each for me. A dollar fifty. So we'll say I don't know how to do math. You're gonna have to figure that. Yeah, so. I don't know how to do math. Uh, let me figure it out. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I want mine to get away. Where did you put them? Seven and a half dollars, right on the counter in front of you. You can't see them. No, I cannot. Uh, you might need to... Uh, Zelda, you see them, correct? I don't see them. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Hold on, let me pick them up and I'll hand them to you. Hi, Lucius. I'll hand... See if you can Hello. see if you can see them this way. Come here. Yep. How about now? Can you see them? Yes, I can. All right. And I'm picking them off now. All right. And you want lemonade as well? Let me get the lemonade. Yes. You. You five of them? Quick. Uh, you, yes, you, uh, please. Be careful. All right. It's seven and a half dollars for the tea, for the lemonade. Give me one second. I will tell you. Yep. For the lemonade, five dollars. So twelve fifty altogether. Okay. I'll bring you the lemonade here in just a moment. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll wait here. Ah, no, I can't get that top web. Stupid. Oh. Takes care of that fucking problem. Mm -hmm. Holy hell! Okay then. Just got the local outside. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll get over it. Mm. They hear this every day. There's your lemonade. Yes. So what the fuck is going on with Tommy Traeger? What happened? Uh, Tommy... Tommy stepped into duels and I could... I'll kick your ass one day. To duel who? Zenaku, Diane and Nayak's older brother. Is he because really we dead? Slow? As far as I am aware, you yes. Know we Oh, hello? Trotted I wasn't there. there to, uh, hello. I hear you. you Finally. Hear yes, we yeah. can hear you now. Oh, thank We hear you now. Thank God. Oh my God, is that you? Oh what? shit, AJ, do you see who this is? That is you, Wade Watson. You. Oh, oh, my my name is, uh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a what? minute. My name is not Wade Watson. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, shit. Thank you uh -oh. for your help, Mr. Uh, man, barkeep person. Uh, my <laughs> mouthpiece was acting up. My, it was my arthritis in my tongue vehicle. Yeah, uh, well, was, I'm uh, glad you got it fixed. Vehicle? <laughs> yeah, thank tongue you so much. Oh, oh, good oh, lord. Anyway, sorry. So what is uh, your name then? No, my name is Wade Watson. I didn't want you to out me like that. Oh, you <laughs> well, you know what? I'm afraid you outed yourself. Everybody knows How? who the fucking you are. Good my to see you. You know, we were talking about you the other day. We were totally talking about you the other day. Where okay. the fuck is he? Well, yeah, I went down south you to join killed me, Colonel. Tommy. You fucking killed me. Why did you do something so and, uh, stupid? I'm, if I if you weren't dead, I would kill you myself. Yeah, yeah, he was running a chicken operation, making it all uh, crispy and stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. I worked down there for a while. And decided to come back. Mm -hmm. well, here I am. Yeah, nice well. to see y'all. I don't know the half of you. I just know Mr. Barkeep Hilly. Or, I mean, Miss Tilly. Yeah, there you go again. Uh, Miss Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> You're still as beautiful as ever. Uh -huh. Still keep your uh, eyebrows nice and tight. And uh, your back hair shaved what? off. I see that. What yep, the hell? My <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, I'm fixing to make some money. Y'all got some uh, tips? 
Tips. Uh, here, I'll, I'll give you some. Uh, come over here. Hold yeah, on, come over here. Definitely. I'll come. I'll come. Hey, Miles, how are you? Not, not suspicious wait, wait, wait. Boy here. Okay, okay, you do. Still <laughs> try not to laugh here. Mm. Zelda, go. where are you going? My turn. My turn. Hold on. No. We need to talk more. Where are you going? Zelda doesn't like big crowds. Mm. Well, don't be a stranger. I have a feeling there are some things I could learn from you. I think everyone can learn from everyone. I just stay in my own little lane and in my own shadows while people keep burning themselves with bullets. And I'm thirsty. Oh, do you have something to drink? Yeah. All right. Well, you know where I am. Don't get yourself into much trouble. <laughs> and if you do, just watch from a distance like me and watch the world burn itself down. Oh, trust me. I'm going to see some things burn before this is over. I'll like to hear about it when I see you again. Uh, you will. I need to go find out. I'm getting some information from AJ about what happened, so I really need to know what it is, because Tommy, I'm not going to let that go unanswered. I'm sure you're not, and there'll be hell to pay. Yeah. But actions do have consequences. Of course they do. Of course they do. You are kind of tiny. Oh my yeah, god. Even I am tiny, and I was. Average. And she's taller than me. What the? Fuck yeah, that's not supposed. To be yeah, you you, you are uh, you are definitely very tiny. You're not what tiny. You're vertically challenged. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Miles. Hello, Too Deacon. Oh, yes. Sorry. Uh, can I borrow you for a moment upstairs if you don't mind? Yeah. Wait before you, oh, before you walk off, Tilly. Can I just can you just stand next to me for a moment? Okay, we're the same you. height. <laughs> yeah, we're the same yeah, height. I, I think you're actually maybe just a little taller. Who's taller? You are. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's probably I'll my be nails. right back, gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. Or the hat. Oh, we'll be here. You want, uh... Evening. I got two whiskeys. Evening. What's up? Uh, so, I'm going to tell you I'm doing for the good of Valentine. Um, uh, as of this moment, I'm uh, running for Sheriff of Valentine. Okay. Uh, I believe you and Andy have a close relationship, so I was in two minds about telling you this and asking for your support. Uh, if you don't want to support me, it's fine, I understand. Uh, you don't have to, and you're not forced to. Uh, but yeah. Valentine's been without Sheriff for some time now, and I know there's reasons for it, but it's getting to the point where it's now unhealthy for Valentine, and I am trying to resolve that the best way I can. Oh. Oh. I have nothing against you. You do what you need to do. Have you spoken to Andy? Not yet. She well, seems to I be really... at the very opposite time from you. Well, I think that going and underhandedly applying for a job or putting yourself out there for a job without speaking to the one who's in it to ask her to remove herself dignified in a dignified manner is a bit undignified well there's nothing official yet you have you have law pin boards do you not use them i'm not saying it's official i'm saying I, you don't have a problem supporting you but you do it the right way you do it the right way she doesn't oh, need I'm to hear sure about this good. shit behind her back nobody oh, does. No, she doesn't be... deserve that should we told my name? All right, fair enough. Well, you let me know when you've done that. Yeah, no problem. I got no problem with you, Deacon. Have a pleasant evening, man. <laughs> I'm saying I've been shot three times this week. I don't need another one. <laughs> you know, that's what's so remarkable about things is everybody talks about how much I've been hurt, you know? And I'm going to be straight up with you. I think I've probably been hurt less than most of you. <laughs> wow. And, well, I mean... I mean, seriously, time. every time I fucking turn around, people's getting shot up. 
you know, but they all want to throw that shit in my face. I haven't been hurt in a long time, so I'm just saying, you know, don't bitch at me anymore about my track record. You guys are all fucking pin cushions around here. Miss Tilly, I had not seen you hurt in the week and a half I've known you. I told you. I haven't been since we moved. I haven't been. No, you have not. No, Except for stupid aware. shit like falling off my horse and dumb fucking garbage like that. Have you ever what? written full, like, face, like, head first into a coach? Uh, um, I've gone head no. first into trams and trains and all sorts of things. Okay, I'm well, just... I, did, I did a head first coach yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, your eyes can deceive you around here, can they not? Oh, yeah. I went over the hill just outside of Valentine, and poof, there it was. And there I went. I like that. Poof. There so I need information. I need to know who killed him. I don't care duel or not. What was his name again? What's his name? Killed who? who uh, Tommy Traeger. To oh. I have no Zen idea. Somebody Zenaku. Who killed? Zenaku. I just, I just who is he? Up. Who is he? Because he's a dead Diane man. Diane Nyack's older brother, but he is uh, in the wind once again. You know what? He can go in the wind all he wants because the wind is going to find him. I swear to God, I'm going to kill him. I'll find him and I'll, I'll take care of it. I'm not going to, that's not going to stand. Tommy was a friend of mine. Where are Nyak yeah. and, where are Nyak and Diane in the, now? They went to bed. They've had quite a day. Yeah. Miss Tilly, would you like some advice? Yeah, Miles, what's your advice? Would you like to teach me how to shoot better? Well, I can, but I don't want you to hurt anybody because you're going to have to live with the consequences. But I will tell you from my life experiences, revenge is a fool's errand. It doesn't get mm -hmm. you anywhere but more angry. <laughs> I can tell you that because I've lived through it. So please don't. Oh, I have lived through getting my shit kicked in and watching my friends suffer. I sat by and I did nothing. I just waited. I waited for it. I waited to be ripped out of my bar. I waited to be ripped out of the telegrams office. I waited to be accosted in the bank. I'm not waiting anymore. So you can call it a fool's errand all you oh. want, but don't fuck with me and you don't fuck with my friends, period. But I, I, I can teach you how to shoot for sure. Well then, that is what I could have use of. What would, what would I, you like, uh, Scrappy? Scrappy, fuck. Who's, who's that? Agent, <laughs> Agent. I don't know what is happening to my brain. Tilly, you know what the sad part is? I understood what you meant, so my brain is in place yours is. Oh my God, Almighty! Where was I, and who wants what to drink? Oh, Talk I about just, fucking. I just bought from you. I'm good for now. All right. How about you, Lucius? Um, I'll just have a lemonade if you got any. Of course. Ex excuse me. We talked about beers, and you're ordering a lemonade. There you go. I'm, I'm trying to. You know, cut back. I just gave him a whiskey, so... Where the fuck is Buford? You, you didn't give me a whiskey. Oh, no, I you didn't no take idea. it. Miles took it. Gotcha. Yeah, where is Buford? I don't know. I, don't know. I get I a message from Val Valdez that there's company coming and nobody's showing up and I need to speak to people. I need to find out what the hell is going on around here. Well, yeah. they told us that me and Luke came over just to see you, Miss Tilly. Oh, you did. Where, where, where were they, and where are they? they? They were in the bar in Valentine. In the bar in Valentine. All right. Hmm. Well, welcome to. Oh, holy uh, cow! I got another one on the thing. I'm gonna be in trouble here pretty quick. Oh, that's lemonade. I don't think it's gonna get you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I actually needed to drink a little. It could make me pucker up. <laughs> so, Lucius, what have you been up to? Oh, not much. Just hunting, messing around, and getting shot. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hunting, messing around, and getting shot. Why are you getting shot? Who's shooting you? Uh, I just keep putting myself in stupid situations. Hmm. Seems to be common around here. Last night it was uh, Luna that shot me. Luna. Oh, those two lunatics. They came in the yeah. They were in the bar here for a little bit. The guy with the pig mask yeah. and the little short one with the weird voice. Yeah. Little Timmy. Yeah. 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 Will I see him again? <laughs> It'll suck to be them. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping not to see him again. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well. 
Well, you heard what I... they did to Buck. No, Buck who? Which Buck? McMash. The, the governor Buck. They what did they do to him? He threw an axe and hit Buck. He almost died last night. Uh, collapsed his lung, and he couldn't hardly breathe. If it wasn't for Lamy, he probably would have perished. And, uh, yeah, it was not a good day night for Buck. Uh, and no. then little Luna tried to burn down most of Valentine last night. Hmm. I'm sure Deacon likes his remodeled office. Hmm. That's and, a... they, and they lit Bishop's place on fire and killed a bunch of folks in there. Killed Wait, them? Kill, what do you mean, what, what, killed what? people? You mean hurt people the or... The locals. Oh, I see. They killed five or six locals and tried to kill Buck and tried to kill me and tried to kill Lou and hmm. robbed AJ and... Did I miss anything? That little girl snuck up on me and had me at gunpoint. She was trying to get her brother back out of the doctor's office. Hmm. Yeah, which I was holding his shoulder uh, with a <laughs> bandage. <laughs> yeah, well, and you did I'll a, tell my, you my what. I do not day. want to hear well, one you. more person, one more person bring up my past. Because all of you are fucking pin cushions around here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Newt. You're, you're right. Well, how are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What can I get for you? Uh, good whiskey if you can. All right, coming right up. Thank you. There you go. That'll be two dollars. Who is this guy? Not is sure. Hi there. Welcome to the Queen of Cups. Can I get you something to drink? Uh, Mr. Steps. Meter, it's me. I thought that was you, but you look different uh, without your shit on. I didn't recognize you right away. How are you doing, Kurt? Um, good. Have a, uh, have a tea on the house. I don't know if you're a drinking man, but I'll uh, start with that. I can't drink when I have the well, duties to fulfill. There you go. Then a mint tea is right up there for you. No, uh... A request. Can you put some bitters in it by any chance? What do you mean by bitters? Bitters. You know, you add to a drink? I don't know what bitters are. I'm a simple girl. A tea will do fine. I'll have to look that up and find out what it is. And next time you come around, I'll give you some bitters in your tea, whatever they are. Okay? Um, Ms. Billy, sure. there's a there's a money clip over here you might want to pick up. You may oh. not be able to get did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh sorry, can you get the tea or do you see it? Uh I do not. Okay, what is the problem with people not seeing you see it, right, Lucius? I can see it from uh, over here. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Some people just can't see it. I'll pick it up for you and put it on the floor. Hold on. Hang on. Thank you. It takes a keen eye. There you go. All right. These things are going to have to go back away from the bar, please. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. All right. All clear. Uh I think Ms. Rose is uh, a, or excuse me, she's in thinking. No, no. She, I, I think she yeah, there. Well, there you are. There well, you then are. you're one brave lady. Dirty whiskey's right over here for you. 20 years Ooh. of doctoring will do that to you. Yeah. Thanks. Didn't think. Mm -hmm. There's one. Well, we could have used I don't know. There's last People night. are having problems. Some I people were. can see my shit. Some people can. So tell me if you have I a problem. I was servicing a lot of people last night. Oh, Miles. I'm good. All right. You see that? A lot of people oh. got hacked down by fucking... Excuse Axis. me, Miss uh, Charity. There you go, a couple of dirty whiskeys for you. Miss Charity Woman. Yeah. Sorry. Can you get that one? Yeah, of course. You see them, Ari? There is something weird going on here. They're stacked right there in front of them. Nah, it probably has something to do with the new bushes in front of Town Hall. Ah. Oh. All right, well, look out. I'm going to have to clear the fucking table again. Oh. No. Oh. Heads up. Watch out, Valdez. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Martha. Let me get you some 
whiskey another way. Yup. And there they go running. Thank you for the sub, Fig. All right, hold on here. Well, we Let me drop him for you. Actually, that'll be better after the next storm. Okay, let me way. see if I can figure this out. Yeah, it's just kind of being weird. Some people it's, can it's, see it, some it's can. It's because of that other thing. Yeah. Where? I didn't get to see that. I'm going to have to go take a look. Something's still sticky somewhere. Got you. All right. Here. There's one. And there's another one. That's mine. You can't have that one, Adam. No, oh, I'm sorry. Did you guys just hear somebody crash the horse outside? <laughs> no, did somebody yeah. crash? It's probably Buford uh, then. Oh, yeah. It was a big old thud. <laughs> yeah, that would Pretty be rare. Buford probably. <laughs> well, I don't see anything. Yeah. All right. So back to the... I, I'm doing very well. How are you doing? Back to the issue at hand, AJ. I no, need. I need. Uh, what did you say? Zenaku is the name. Yes. All right. What do you know about him? That he's um, their big brother. And Tommy's really dead. Is that That's true? As far as I'm aware, yeah. That I also heard when I was in Valentine. It unfortunately oh, yeah, is true. Tom is dead. Someone needs to pay for that, that motherfucker. Shit. Someone needs to pay for that shit. He died on his own terms. I don't care. I don't care. He did. Yeah. Well. <sighs> you see, sad do yeah. Okay. And his name well, is Zenaku. You know, to Tommy. To Tommy. Yeah. To Tommy. I need to get a drink out. It was the biggest, least pain in the ass I've ever met. Yeah. Yeah. He was a friend of mine. I know people said that the cowboys were kind of shit, but you know, Tommy always could be reasoned with and talked with. Never felt he was that difficult to talk to. Fuck this place. So sick of losing people. All right. Anybody need food or anything? Uh, uh, as much as no, I appreciate the offer, I cannot drink while I am stationed yeah. here. Come over. Uh, all right. Well, Where are I'll you? Ah, oh, coming. To your right. I'm gonna give you 20 bucks drinks are on me but don't tell anybody thank you all did right. you get it yeah thank you all right I'll take you're welcome away. all right welcome to the queen of cups everybody what can Sorry, I get you we'll visit. Little. Do you want a card reading or you want to just get drunk? What just, do you want to do, just, huh? Like, totally Ooh, card yeah. reading. Totally like card reading. Yeah, I would actually uh, oh, yeah. like one of those too. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> Let me just fucking wobble my way around it. <laughs> She's going to be busy tonight. <laughs> you know, busy is the way I like it. And that's where the chair is. All right, let me get my cards ready if I can reach my drunk ass into my pocket. This is where you all hear how my life is such a mess and it's going to get further downhill. Just kidding. You're going to sit here and listen in. I was going to say, you'll be fine. It's mine. On that shit. <laughs> Come on, Jam, I'll take a seat. I can't even see your seat right now. Oh. It's very, um,. Yeah, very missing in my eyes. You know, I haven't had a whiskey in nine months, so holy shit. <laughs> did you have a kid? I did. Very oh, beautiful. congratulations. Thanks. Oh, good to see oh, you. Oh, good God. Hello. Hey there, Mr. Colt. 
Hey Tilly, hey Gemma, hey whoever else is in this fucking bar. There you are. <laughs> thank you. Where's Jeez. Dorothy? I want to thank her for the fucking cookie. Where is Asleep. she? Asleep. Oh, damn it. Well, you. Okay. I'm standing inside a bar, Miles. Why are you like he's... so depressed? I'm not depressed. If one more All right, Deacon. Says I'm depressed, you know the deal. Four numbers right between now. one and 78. Why? It mean something to you. No, I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Don't. Uh, that's one to seven eight, isn't it? Zero to seven. What's okay, what's well, seven zero seven eight? is really? not really? is not a choice. This I have seventy eight cards apparently. in the deck. Really? Really? Thank you. Um, Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Sixty four. Stop yelling. Twenty one. Oh, it's my. Is it three or four? What your God given right? Yeah. I'm I sorry. What? Oh, shoot you in the face! Oh. Stop yelling. Buford, can you shut up a minute? Calm down a bit, yeah. Now let me tell you something. What do you have to I'm just gonna make something very clear. You all need to do I this to shit the right way. That's fine that you want to replace her, but you need to fucking at least bring I, it up to, to her and talk to her instead of fucking I've having her hear about it. it. Well, I have fucking hope so. Wait, 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 wait. What are we talking about right now? Fucking replacing replace Andy. Who? What the hell are they no talking about? No one said yeah. replacing. Andy. Well, obviously, if you're running for fucking sheriff, you replace her. I'm just saying, talk to her. Don't don't let her find out through the grapevine or through somebody else. It, fucking Tilly, nothing Tilly, sucks Tilly, worse than that. What? Tilly, you're aware that if somebody wants to replace her, she needs to be voted out by the community. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. They're talking yeah, about. Yeah, so nobody's yeah. running against her or trying to push I'm her out. Yes, they her. are. Deacon no, is. No, they're just they're just running. I mean, Tilly, if you want, I can stop and let Valentine continue. Good, no, I want you to do it the right way. I'm not saying I disagree with you or anything, but, but I don't but want Tilly. her to hear about it behind her fucking back. Got it. But Tilly. I'm confused. You, yes, what? It's it's not about somebody running behind her back. Because nobody's going to be able to. Yeah, you you won't be able to. You're going to have to actually run for sheriff. Huh. And that means that she needs to not be sheriff anymore. For anybody to run oh, for run. sheriff. Hmm. I, I so you can't you run behind US somebody's back. Right. He's so fucking cool. Well, I mean, I, I don't understand what the conversations are all about asking me to support other because, people um, for sheriff in because somebody is planning on Dude, running so for sheriff in gotcha. the future got gotcha. you okay so deacon gathering deacon oh. 64 21 39 dude i, I can't even uh, listen go you know i can't even emphasize how fucking and? badass he is oh He's at 52 valdez your voice is very Whispery, but it's still. You very guys are loud. loud as fuck tonight. I'm telling you. You guys are loud too. All right. I can hear your like entire conversation. All sound. right. So Deacon, I'm gonna just take a minute to pull the cards from Tilly, the deck. Don't yell at us about being loud. I'm. I, I'm. I, he's got a point. That's not what I said. All right. You she does not have a stick up her ass. Don't say that shit. What's happening? We've got that. card reading here. Can we all like pipe What the fuck is it with you? Are have you all been smoking something, or are you all drunk as fuck? What's the deal? Holy crap. <laughs> Here, let me raise my voice. I didn't know so that the bar was a fucking library. It's not we a fucking can, library. I want you to you be you. as loud as you fucking want. I love you guys. You do what you want in here. You can fucking blast the, blast the lights out. I don't care. Tear the, tear the stools off the floor. Flip them all over. Have a ball. That's what it's all about. Have a good time. I don't care. You know, Knock each other down. Have at it. There are deputies in here, right? If the property Here's, owner I mean, the said thing is, like, I can hear you guys issue. talking over at that table, but we're not. Uh, yeah, we're not well, we're not whispering right now because we're yelling all right. at you. Shut up. Shut up. Well, I'm it's yelling back. That's why I'm not <laughs> whispering either. Yeah, but you weren't before. The That's only problem I have right now is I'm trying to count, and I'm having difficulty <laughs> counting with all the yelling. So just, if you could just give me two seconds to count. Just so, everybody I, so I don't lose my head, I'll be fine. And then you can just everybody. fucking blow the place up. I don't fucking care. As long as you have a good time, you blow the place up. You can burn it's, it to the ground. Just have at it. He's not a library just bar. Fucking whisper at a three, and we'll be quiet. fine. I was at a three. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The next time you're all sitting here for a card reading, I'm just gonna shout at the top of my lungs too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna walk outside. You gonna point your way outside? Yep. Yep. And me.
All right, why'd you go inside? No idea. All right, so I got your four cards. Let me just put them on the table here. Yeah, I definitely can. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn over the cards so you can see what four cards you got. And then once we've done that, I will go ahead and I will read the cards one at a time in the order that you drew them. So what I want you to do is reach out and touch the cards first with your hand. Now you made sure those numbers meant something to you, right? You didn't just like throw out numbers. No, I never throw numbers in. What's that? I never throw the numbers in. Good. All right. Just making sure. All right, so let's see what you got. All right, your first card is the Six of Cups reversed. Your second card is Death reversed your third card is the queen of cups upright and your fourth and final card is the seven of cups upright interesting you guys might like this reading because you got all cups cards and the one major arcana card that you got was death reversed so let's see what that all has to say about you huh shall we Guys, I'm gonna die. That's it's the end. Thank death you is I not love you literal all. death. Don't be silly. I've explained this a thousand times since I've been doing card readings. Death is about rebirth, about new beginnings. So let's it's begin. Dope. The first card that you drew, in the order that you drew it, was the Six of Cups reversed. Let's see what that has to say, huh? Let's go. The Six of Cups, in general, in reverse, is talking about living in the past. It's about forgiveness, and it's about lacking playfulness. Now, more specifically, what it means to you is that you need to ask yourself whether you're clinging to the past and losing touch with the present. Reflection, nostalgia, all of those wonderful things might bring up positive or negative feelings, but either way, when you find yourself wishing for how things used to be, you are not living in the present. I heard drinks while And you are missing out what is right in front of you. Now, the Six of Cups is offering you an opportunity to make peace with the past so you can focus on the now. You need to learn from mistakes, forgive others and yourself, and acknowledge that life is continually evolving. The reverse Six of Cups is also a sign that you've lost touch with your inner child. You don't have to pay child support. That life is boring, repetitive, and stale. You're taking on too much responsibility, and it is leaving you closed off from new opportunities. You need to be open to having a curious mind. And to have fun as though you were a child again. And if you find yourself saying you don't have time, well, you're going to find yourself in a bad place. Six of Cups is a lot about taking those quiet walks down memory lane. But you need to keep that information to yourself. Others don't need to know that you're revisiting these old memories. Because they can judge you for it. Now, death reversed. What does that tell you about you? I guess we'll see, huh? I'm gonna die, people. I'm gonna I, die. I'm not gonna say it again. That is not what death is. Death reversed is about a resistance oh, to change. Wait, wait, wait. It's about personal transformation. Now? And it is about inner purging in general. More specifically, what that means for you is that you're needing to start over 
by letting go of the past. And here we go with the past again. Are you living in the past, Deacon? Because everything about these cards is telling me that you are. Um, the way my career is going, probably. Now, this is a card of transformation, not death. It is this card that means that you possibly are on the verge of meaningful change, but that in many ways you are resisting it. You don't want to let go of things, and you may not know how to make the change that you need. You are still carrying harmful viewpoints from your past that will interfere with your future. This card offers you an opportunity to embrace change instead of resisting it. See the possibilities that are available to you and learn to release the past and surrender to what is going on now in the present. Now on a deeper level, this card shows that you are going through a massive transformation right now, often in private, out of the view of others. Yeah, yeah. You are letting go of what you think no longer serves you so that you can make space for the new things to emerge. You are trying to get rid of fear, your own limiting beliefs, trying to change your habits, or trying to just purge yourself, undergoing a transformation. And you don't really share that with other people. You just wait until it has occurred. And then you want to use it as a source of inspiration. <laughs> the Queen of Cups is your third card. The Queen of Cups, in an upright posi position, is all about compassionate, caring, emotionally stable intuition. For you, more specifically, this card when it appears in a reading, says that you are a supportive person and that you do listen well, that you have a heart and you are compassionate and you care. You are empathic and you sense the needs of others. And you have space for others to express those emotions. You want them to be their truest, most authentic versions of themselves. Now, the Queen of Cups says you are smart, creative, and uh, in your interactions with oh, others, that you oh, can read other people to get a sense of how to communicate effectively. Others may come to you, confide to you. Very quietly. People do trust you. You know what, you all suck. Buck, buck! And you can instantly tune into what others are doing and try to help make sense of it. You feel your way into things. You trust your heart and your own guidance to lead you in the right direction. You know when something is off and you pay attention, even if it doesn't make sense. Now, when the Queen of Cups appears in a reading, you are being asked to trust this intuition and pay attention to feelings and emotions and to lead with your heart, not your head. Your final card was the Seven of Cups, upright. Seven of Cups, in general, upright, is about opportunities, choices, wishful thinking, and illusions. More specifically for you, when the Seven of Cups appears, you have an opportunity from which you can choose. But be careful, because you are prone to illusions and unrealistic ideals. An opportunity with promises may sound appealing, but you need to look deeper into that offer, as you may soon realize it's not everything you think it is. Your ego may pull you in a specific direction, but you need to evaluate your options and dig below the surface to discover what's involved with your choice. The Seven of Cups is a sign of wishful thinking and projecting into the future about what you would like to create rather than taking action in the present to make it happen. You may find that your plans sound fabulous in your imagination, but when it comes to implementing them, they may not work the way you think. The Seven of Cups is a sign of failing to see any of the new opportunities through to the end, because you're constantly in the idea phase. You miss the chance to bring your designs into action. 
focus on those things that will move closer, move you closer to your goal, and uh, maybe write them down. You need to move out of an idea phase and choose. But you need to weigh your options carefully and make sure that you are not, not living in an unrealistic world. And you need to not feel paralyzed by the options available to you either. Not be afraid. So that's your reading. Thank you. You're welcome. Main fucky as always. Why do you think that all the time? Why do you always, they always think that? Because they always fry my brain every time. They're, they're meant to make you think. Can I borrow you two? Hello, good evening. Who has not got a drink that would like a drink? Hello, Buck. Hello, Elena. Hi, Tilly. How are you? I'm Apparently good. I'm being summoned outside. I'll be right back. Yep. What can I get you, Elena? Uh... A mint tea, please. Coming right up. You might have a problem seeing it if you do. Just tell me. I'll get it. Some hey. people can don't see them. Some me. people don't. I feel like Tilly would be a good at a dual support for Sawdust and be like, I'm just a tea. There you go. Yeah, I cannot can see it. Alright, hold on. I I'll get it. I'll get it for you. Hold on. There you go. It's right there on the ground. You see it now? Behind the chair? Elena? Yep. Alright. Oh, mighty kind of you, Miss Tilly. Don't you take our deal. I'll beat your ass. <laughs> I, I didn't do nothing. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, what's up? Is there we any decor in this old. building that wasn't here yesterday? Well, I honestly haven't had. Oh my god, haven't had a chance to look. Uh. What dual new? I'm just yeah, because it seems like it's it's awful far away from here. For it to be a problem, but it seems to be a problem still, sort of. Huh, let me look around a bit. I don't know. Did, in, did somebody I try? See, did anybody try to put the? Different. Did somebody try to put the blackjack table in maybe upstairs? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Some people are having problems seeing it, others are not. I'm not sure why. Well, and that's yeah. what I mean. It's not completely not like. But when I go to sit in, out. when I go to sit in a chair, it's now the the left <laughs> alt instead of yes, Z. Yes, that, that is on purpose. That is on yes. purpose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does that confuse that, me a little bit? No, I don't was, see anything um, because, new in here. Because uh, Z is point now. Uh, yes, finally. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Uh, so I had to, yeah, I had to move that one. Yeah, no, not that I see. I don't see anything different at all. No, I don't either. <laughs> I, I honestly, it's all right, so we because well, it's, it's, it's real sporadic. Because it's, it's literally what I, I did yesterday. Yeah, but not everybody's and now today unable. It's a thing. Not everybody is unable to see it though. Well, that's what I mean. It's not fully broken like it yeah. was before. It's like half broken. Yeah. Oh, I think it's probably less the bar and more the people that are <laughs> half well, broken. You know. I admit to being slightly I'm shattered. Not broken. Did you just no. call me half broken? Ah, you're all half you broken. Yeah, I'll, I will duel you. Do you want to? You want to duel? Draw that smoke wagon to see what the fuck happens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody just got really stomped hard out front. What the fuck? Somebody just got run over by a horse. At this situation. Really? Wade? Myra, is that you? Howdy, howdy. Hello, my beautiful. Oh, no, I'm the ginger. Oh, boy. What happened? He was talking about eating someone's horse, and then my horse kicked him. <laughs> Ooh. Good job, Courier. Here's oh a tip. God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good yeah. lord. Myra, just leave him in the street. Oh. Oh, Thank okay. You. Yeah, let's go inside. Why am I leaving him? He just, he just, he deserves it. To be honest, don't you leave, ginger. don't leave Wade no, in the street. Don't, don't leave don't him in the street. Don't do Wade that. Wade's that is... actually kind of cool, besides the fact he's ginger. 
but he's yeah, he's Miss Myra. <laughs> he is pretty here. funny. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it's you. it is the guy you think it it's is. Wade? It's Wade. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I know. Tell me about it. I was cracking up the second I heard him speak. Oh no! I figured when somebody asked about that, that weird question, Myra, I should have known it. Yep. Yep. Hmm? Can I become a doctor? I'll get my record expunged. Dude, the fucking courier is oh, making bank. Uh, yeah, I'm Good telling job. you, I'm in the wrong wrong business apparently. Is it too soon to ask if you were going to do any more readings today? Not at all. Of course I'll do some more readings. You want a reading? Sure. Can you give me two minutes to stretch my legs a little bit here? And I need to go in the back and grab some shit. And I would be happy to. I love reading cards. It's my thing, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just give me a second. Lucius, do you ever looking for a job? Um, Not right at the moment, but I might be. All right, well, you let me know if you're looking for one, okay? Okay. All right. You need to do it. Do your best. Do your best. All right, I'm just going to go in the back, grab something out of the storage real quick. Misdemeanor, right I was paid $2 to tell you that this place is apparently a Why library. Fish oil oh, no. Uh, <laughs> is it? Is it? Well, here, let me fix that, huh? How about this? Is this a library? Oh, no. It's a. Oh, yeah. No. No, it's not a library anymore. Here. Hey, look at this. No libraries here. I like all the noise in the world. I want you to party your fucking ass off. Have a ball, okay? We're good? Trust her with the gun. Put that away. Jesus Christ. Do not trust her with Everybody the gun. okay now? Also, it is not a fucking any library. Local message does not require. Have a party. Right. Just enjoy the tip then. <laughs> Very well. All right. I still didn't spill my coffee. Okay. He's my favorite guy in this. All right, good. Now that we've established this is not a library, I'm going to go in the back and grab some things. I'll be right back. All right. Fountains keep paying I know. Every time he's like, you don't Friends have to tip. Are you like, feeling well, okay? Just take it anyway. <laughs> just take it anyway. You know what I liked about that joke? You know what I liked about that joke? You know how everybody crouched down? And if you're wondering, I do not have a baby because Ryan don't have him being a good daddy. You're that person. I'm scared of the, I'm scared of specific No, nothing weird, nothing weird. Nothing weird. It's a perfect, yes, I'm sure I counted all its toes and things. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my good. I'm Fergie. Uh, would you happen to be Deacon? Nope. All right, guys, I need just Thank a couple you. minutes. I got to go grab a drink and just uh, get out of my chair and move my legs for a minute. I will be right back. <coughs> Hopefully you can hear everything that's going on out there at least. I'll be right back. Town ain't big enough for the both of us. Wait, what are you doing? Giving your whole fucking life story. A vocal message for you. The boy he lived come to die. Someone downstairs. I think it was Officer Bowser. The boy he lived come to die. Vault as. Vault as, you better not be in your hat. Upstairs. Upstairs. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's 
to get small. <laughs> This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Sir, by attacking a postal service, uh, horse. Well, in a hypothetical situation, <laughs> the U.S. military would do the exact same to you, sir. You don't shoot my husband or I'll shoot you, Deacon. Mm, no, I would. Yeah. All right. Well, hello, Myra. It's good to oh, see you. How, How are you doing, sweetheart? Do you need something uh, to drink? To um, just the coffee with this. All right. Oh, if you don't Mr. see it, tell me. I'll pick it up for you. Hand it to you. Right. It's official. No we're having carrots, issues. You just put them up there, Mister, and it's all Wait, gone. Carrots? Like you some people a, see, some what, people like don't. You fuck your own Let me see if you see it. Mm. No, I can't sit down for some odd reason. You can't sit down. No. Listen, if you take the carrot, can you see that? I see it, but I can't pick it up. Oh, fuck. Rub it around. Lucy. All right, back up, back up, everybody, back up, back up, back up, back up. Smell my finger, Mister. I did it yesterday. No, no, I'm not smelling your fucking finger. Whoa, whoa, who's shooting? Hey, who's doing? All right, hold on, I'll get you a coffee. You fucking psycho. Hold on, don't touch it. I'll get it for you. There was a cup stuck to the bar. Tilly, how do you go from? Tilly, how do you go from? People are trying to read. I did not. Hey, I will. I would like to just kindly remind you that I never once said shush. So. Fuck off with that shit. I didn't say quiet. You guys were all the ones <laughs> shouting about being quiet. Come here, Myra. Come get your coffee. Thank you. Wayne, you better watch it, buddy. Or we're going to have a little trip out to the desert again, huh? Mr. Tilly. Uh -oh. <laughs> did you Mr. call me mister? No, I Wait. did not. I yeah, he did called not you mister. Did he really? Did what did I tell you about that, Wayne? I did not. I did. Miss Tilly. He said, he said I Mr. Promise Tilly. You. Did I he say mister? You. Yeah, I did, did not say judge Mi judge Miss Tilly you, you know me you know I have a speech impediment oh, Miss Tilly oh, I have a speech impediment You better fix that speech impediment because if I hear it one more time I don't know my one more time Miss Tilly One more time Wade I'm sorry Miss Tilly I, I didn't say that it, my, I'm a victim of my circumstance Miss Tilly <laughs> Well you're about to be the victim of a throwing knife if you do that again <laughs> Please Tilly, don't pull that into my mouth old Miss Tilly he just you know that the U.S. Postal Service headball. can direct yeah, you to places to learn hurting. how to read and write. There yeah, you go. go. Listen to the man. Go talk to the... About learning how to read. I think that's read. right. Listen, I know how to read. My dyslexia is just acting up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> is that next to your hemorrhitis zone? You've heard uh, I need to talk to you for a minute. I, you got I'll a minute? I'll tell you, mister. My hemorrhitis is all clean, Look, sir. I'm not going to um, fuck hey, around here. What do you mean about hey, what? I need to no talk to you. Mellow fucking sad shit. I'm, I'm having a good You know what? Timer. I'm gonna put a throwing knife in you next. There ain't no oh, mellow yeah, sad yeah. shit about this. You come <laughs> talk to me right now. Quicker than my gun. Yeah, we'll see. Whoa. Whoa. Ready? Watch. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. I got some stuff I need to move. And I'm not fucking around anymore. We need to move it. And I want to cut. You got a cup stuck to your hand. My there. cut? I want a cut. Of what? Of what I give you What's to that? move. 
Or are you not doing that anymore? What the hell are you doing? Uh, no. All right. I don't have All anything right. right now because nobody sold anything. I don't. Not. Oh my God. I swear. I have some things to give you to move. When okay. you move them, I want to cut. Talk to me like a friend and not some random business person that well, I've met for you the know, first I... time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't don't hardball me. Uh, you hardballed me. No, I can't, but I can. Come down here, down there. Come on. You can what? I said I can play hardball. You can. Why can't I? Okay. You, do you remember what happened in Rhodes? You know what? Yeah. I'm telling you right now. Don't underestimate me, okay? Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. Yeah, but don't come up to me trying to play hardball doing like, oh, business, business, business shit. I ain't playing. Don't die. Fucking do play it. I'm. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, don't do the playing shit. Uh, you're. Can't don't don't gaslight me. I'm not gaslighting you. I'm just telling you how it is. I'm telling you how it is. I got product to move. We need to move it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I have people to sell it. Ah, shit. The real question is, what does it need to be sold for? Because I've been telling people $4 for jugs and $5 for cigarettes, but I don't know if that's too much or too little. Yeah, I know. Well, seeing as how we can't really produce it yet, whatever you set the price at is... I'm just going to use the old prices. Yeah. But we also have the other things we need to move here, too. Here. Huh? Crap. Hang on. i got to keep a couple of these things. Why, you, uh, you addicted? Take that. Ugh. I hate these fucking things. I don't even know how that? to sell those things. If you don't know how to sell them, give them back to me. I know how to sell them. Uh. And then. Just make sure I get a cut of it, okay? Yep. All right. Ooh, bang. I'm not legally allowed to divulge I that. Oh, really? You're some kind of secret agent, uh, Sari? No, it's so that people don't show up to my house <laughs> So, sweetheart, how's the baby? Excellent. Both of you, how's your babies? Great. Yeah, you had a baby, too. What did you have? Did you have a boy or a girl? I had a girl. Me... I had a boy. I heard her name, <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to call her. What is her Mary? name? Mary? Marion. Marion? Yeah, Very nice. Short yeah. name. Very nice. Guess what? His name is Mateo. Isn't that interesting? Mateo. Oh. Both pick M names. Mateo and oh, Marion. Look at us. One day they'll I be to playing together. Call. All right. They will all right. be. All right. Be careful. Do you got someone going with right. you? Yeah, yeah. It's just. Oh, God. Oh. Don't kick me, Dark. Jesus Christ. It's just a. It's just a. Uh, Oh, almost about strawberry. Uh, yeah, you probably should take I'll some. I'll be right back. Oh, Jesus. She's not going to. All right, well, we need to watch, Reminds make sure she comes back. Oh, who's that? Me. Mm-hmm. You guys are Just a like, pain in my fucking ass. That's yeah. fine. See you later. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> Miss, hey. uh, Miss uh, Tilly. Sorry, Miss. Oh, what? You did it? I told you. I told you not to fucking do that. What? I told you I, not to fucking do that. I didn't say nothing. Miss Tilly. Yeah, I, run. Run. I, I, no, got, no, 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 I'm going to give you please, the count of three to please. run. Three. Forgive me for, if He's I did. Wind if wind I put a trespass on your... Uh, okay, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she's throwing. She's throwing. Good? Yeah. There we go. Um, Tilly's. I don't know. She's throwing, throwing now. Uh, something. Oh, what are you talking about? Uh, no, nothing. Do I, I saw what nothing. All right, Tilly. Hi there. Neither do yeah, I. Yeah, why? Because I just saw Tilly doing what Tilly do. What What does Tilly do? Throw a knife at somebody. Oh no, I hey, didn't throw a knife didn't at anybody. Do I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Fair enough. Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Tear the bar up. Have fun. Scream. Yell. Have a party. I don't care. 
Where is everybody? Yeah, where did everybody go? I think they're outside. Yeah. Oh, Philly, uh, can I get a beer before you run off? I'm not running off anywhere. I'm. Oh, this is okay. my bar. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, of course you can have I a beer. I thought you were just headed out the door. So. Oh, no. I was just trying to figure out where everybody went. Nobody was in the bar. She was chasing that uh, guy. What's his name? Wade? Wade. If you can't see it, tell me. I'll uh, pick it up and put it Apparently down for you. My new, my new secret. It's, my. Things are being kind of weird tonight. You see that? Nope. All right, come here. I'll put it on the ground for you over here. All right. Yeah, just don't call her Mister, and you'll be fine. There you go. You see it? She's pretty quick with those knives. I don't think I'd want to get on her I bad do. side. All right. Good. Good. Good to see you. Here's some money. Oh, thank you. I don't know why anybody would want to get under Miss Tilly's skin. That makes That's no all sense. I had in my pocket. Sorry, sweetheart. Oh, the, no, you didn't, that was way more than I needed for a beer. Oh, well, Tilly, then make sure I you give like them to somebody stew. else in case I want another one. All right. I guess I got, got a tab. You got it. I'm just going to put some things down and pick them up because I'm obviously going to have to hand them out for my pocket tonight. So give me a second here. Oh, let's see. What are people mostly wanting? Hmm, probably whiskey and tea. So, how's things been going? Ah, great, great. How about you? Uh, you getting along? I can't really oh, complain. Look out. Uh, sorry, just give me a second. I got a problem here. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, uh, look out, bud. Um, look out. Why? Because there's glasses stuck everywhere, literally, on my eyeballs here. There we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things are a little bit of a mess tonight. Apparently. It's all right. To be honest, this is the first place I've been able to get a beer successfully. Oh, yeah? Well... Where the fuck is Gemma? She's here. She's right behind oh, you. God. Gemma. Uh -huh. Did we lose Buford? <laughs> um, Mr. Meter? I had to go get yeah. some bread. Do you have any food items on hand? I do, I do. What is this? I do not know what that I don't is. Know, yeah, I have a. Um, there for me. Yeah, for I saw moment. that all of a sudden. It appeared. Yeah, maybe. Mm, weird. Uh, yes, I have a sausage and I have a goulash. It's a, whichever you would like. Uh, I haven't eaten in uh, uh, the goulash. All right. Let's see if this. If you can't see it, just tell me. I will pick it up for you and put it down another way. There. You see it? I cannot. Okay, hold on. And how much is the food item? Uh, you know, it's uh, I've been paid to keep everybody happy tonight, so it's on the house. There you go. Well, thank you. You are quite welcome. Whoa. Is you yep. like that beer, huh? That beer is a lot stronger than I remember it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, also, um, can I speak to you for just a moment? Me? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Come around the corner here. All right. I'm working on it. You know, I don't remember beer being this good. Yeah, I don't either. It's getting better every day. I say that's her own special formula. All right. What's up? A nice little gift for you. A little late wedding present, I guess you could say. For, for me? Mm-hmm. Oh. Thanks. Oh, you made it back. You good? Thank you, Tilly. You are welcome. Yep. Very kind. 
to be honest with you, I, I always liked them. I mean, liked who? Uh, Tommy. Yeah, I, always liked, I liked him. him too. We had our differences at times, but I liked we him too. We sat together at Sorry, Buck's there was a chair there, and I was trying to get it out of the wedding. Way. Oh no, if you're all right. Conversation and caught up, and then came Someone's in gonna fucking pay for that. Someone's gonna fucking pay for that. Oh, That's I, all I have to thought say. you were cold and you were trying I to get warm off my coat. I don't care. not. I'm gonna. He's gonna pay for that. Who's gonna pay Who's for what? Tommy's death. Why? <laughs> Why? Because if Tommy was a friend of mine. Why would you insert yourself? Yeah, you're friends with everybody. Insert in myself. Town. Why would you insert yourself in that? Because situation? I cared about Tommy. Okay, now we have to have a chat outside. Come on. See, now you're going to fucking do to me what you just told me not to do to you. Swear to God, Buford, if you drag her out by her hair and try and kill her, I'm going to be pissed. No, no, we're not at that part. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> what? Okay. You're not getting involved in anything with that native that's fucking up those people or anything like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Because when did you start telling me what to do? Service. Because we're not, because aren't we all still in the same group together, right? Uh, that doesn't equate to you telling me what to do. Uh, I mean, we have discussions, it's me yes, you what but to you do, aren't telling me what to do. Sure. Well, what are you getting at here? A shot of you're in you're not going to go and hunt that guy down and insert yourself into that situation. Oh, you're telling me what to do again? Yes. Huh. Well, what? Are you going to, like, act like a kid and get upset that I'm telling you not to do something. Now you're insulting me. <laughs> yeah, but you tell me not to do things, I mean, too. That's okay. We all know the kind of uh, things that Fine, it's like, a discussion. So it's Could you not that, go and attack this person? Did I say I was going to attack him? You just said that you're he's going to go pay for it. Yeah, he's going to pay for it. I didn't say I was so, going to do it. So you're not going to get involved in it, right? Are you serious right now? Are you really are you? serious? Are you going to tell me how to live my life? Uh, yeah. Okay. No, so with that situation, then I have to get involved with that situation. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why would sure, you have I'm to get involved? Here. Because me and you are and working. It was two people. That door you came through, I thought maybe that was you licking on somebody. No, it was two people beating up a defenseless man. There's literally no reason involved in that situation. <laughs> There's literally one? There's no reason to get involved in that situation. You know, I guess reason is all dependent on what you personally think of a situation Jim you know it's easy there, you can say what you want to say you know but there are still okay so my question is so you you saw all that stuff that you just here come down this way now there's people out here you saw all that stuff that you just took out of your bank right yep and gave to me yep and you see what you're trying to what path you're going down right Yes, I know exactly. So you understand that it's down. not a charity service and that you can't be a hero and go after everybody who's done any sort of wrongs ever, right? I'm not. Why would going after a guy who hurt Tommy Traeger make me a hero? Everybody hated because him for the most part. No, I don't really think so. Everybody in the bar was just talking about don't, how they didn't I just really don't. I don't like the way you're talking to me a little bit here, Buford. You know, I, I because think. Because you're it, just going to get involved in this situation and then you're going to come home. And you're going to be like, oh, the guy poisoned me. And then it's like, really? oh, shit. And then I got to go tell Really? Tesla you know what? You guys are rich. Else. You guys are rich. You have been walking around here since we since we I moved to this place. What are you talking I'm, about? I'm talking about? I'm talking about metaphorically, okay? You come back here. Every single one of you has fucking jumped in front of bullets left and right. And all anybody can keep reminding me about is my past. And I am sick of it. I'm sick of it. I haven't even been fucking shot, hurt, Nothing has happened to me. And I'm really, Nothing really... Nothing has ever happened to you? Not here. Not here. Have I been shot? I don't know. Have you? No. Has Tessa, Jack, or Vicky, or Tobias, or any of those people I interact with been shot? Who the fuck is Vicky? Uh, Tobias' girlfriend. I don't even know who Tobias is. Yeah, because he hasn't been around enough to introduce yourself to him. Or Weaver. Who I have selling... Alcohol you know what? Away. The whole world is going on around me. And every time, every time that I try to make any kind of personal fucking feelings yeah, known or involved, see, it's all like, go, you can't involve yourself, there Tilly. Go, You've been hurt too much, there Tilly. Go, what? Personal. What do you mean? Yes, it is personal. I like yeah, Tommy. You can't, you can't live in this life and be personal. That guy, whoever he is, has been wreaking havoc 
on Diane, on, on Nyak, on Tommy. Tommy. And when, 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 at what point? At what group? point am I supposed to? What, what? What do you think I am? A wall of ice? Who is that in our group? Who is who? Who is? Wh wh wait a minute. What do you mean? Who is that to us? Like, why do we care? Why do we care about what? I didn't ask you to What's care about What's happening to Diane and... Not, yes, well, Oh, I them? Because I'm, I've am i known them for a long time. I know AJ. I mean, do you think I'm completely so, oblivious to what's going on in their lives? Yeah, but you... Okay, who else do you know in that bar? You know Miles, Lucius. Uh, you know, the only people that I could see where it makes sense to do that is Myra or Ryan or any of those people. Makes sense to do what? Even then... To go after somebody and try to get involved in a situation and get and shoot somebody. I didn't say I was going to do that personally. Okay, what are you going to do then? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, you, okay, come on. Like we we live on the same planet, Tilly. Look, I don't even know who the guy is. I haven't even seen him. His name is. Uh, I know his name. Zenaku or whatever. Zenaku. I know his name. Whatever. But you're not going to involve yourself in that situation and get shot or poisoned or something, right? Because All right. Then I would have to get involved in that situation yep. and get shot yep. or poisoned. No, no. And then Dorothy would get shot or poisoned or anybody else that we care about. No, no. No, you're right. I'll just sit behind my bar and live my little fluffed up quiet little life and do exactly as everybody tells me to do. I won't uh, have feelings. I won't have personal feelings about anything. I will disregard everything that happens around me because who's, it is not my business. Life? No, that's fine. What personal things do I have that I put out? I don't know. It, I don't know. I'm not you. I couldn't tell you. Else. I couldn't tell you. Has is there anybody specifically? I'm sick close and to tired you? of sitting here and being passive about things, Buford. I'm tired uh, of it. Yeah, but here's the thing. There's a time to act when you have to, you know, take out another gang because they're doing too much shit. And, you know, okay, so Blackwater's our place, right? Yes. Where I'm going to build up a gang in Blackwater. You're going to. And yes. where am I in that picture, Buford? You're going to be a part I? of it, no? Well, it doesn't sound like it to me. It well, sounds hope, like you want I me to shut up and serve drinks behind the fucking bar, and I'm not willing to do that anymore. Yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way. Sure. But no, no being a charity or going after everybody. A charity? What? Yes. What? What? What like, does we can't be mean? trying to solve A.J. Clark, Diane, and Nyack's problems when it's not our problems. What exactly becomes our problem, Buford? Uh, if one of our guys or one of our immediate family members or extremely close friends gets hurt. Hmm. And, and who are our extremely close friends, according to you? Basically just Myra. <laughs> Is there anybody else who's, like, an extremely close friend that I'm, I'm missing out on? I just don't understand. I don't who, who understand. I honestly on don't understand what you people so want. So you're telling me that if some guy went and shot Miles in the face or something that we would have to care about it? I don't know Miles that well. Okay, then pick somebody that you do know well. I, I did. And you disregarded You don't know me. AJ that well. Tommy. Tommy. You were best friends with Tommy. I wouldn't call it best friends, but we were okay, close. So, Tommy was so moving cordial, shit for me, so Buford. So he's a guy that you see in town every day, and now you're gonna go to war. It was more... What are you talking about? It was, it was much more than that. You know, just... Did what you makes you date? think... What makes you think that my relationship with Tommy was surface? Did you two date? Do you... Like, can you see in my brain or something? Did you two date? We didn't date. No, did we didn't. Did you two have some sort I of I probably deep, would have gone on a date deep, with him if he'd asked, but we didn't date, Did you no. two have some sort of deep friendship that I wasn't aware of? We did have a friendship, yes. A friendship? Was it yes. deep? I don't know. At times it could be. Ugh. We fell apart a little bit when he tried yeah, to go exactly. after Carter. Exactly. But so he, he came after, and we talked. So he went after one of your friends, right? Yes, and I stood up for that, too. Oh, man. Oh, man. Didn't you go after somebody else too? No, who did I go after? You went after. Didn't you go after some other guy or something a while ago? Mm, you you got to be more specific because I, 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 I don't, don't remember know. going I after just, anybody. I, I really don't know. I don't go after people, Buford. Or what about? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, friend-wise. 
what if like <sighs> Elsie or Mike or um, Wesley Owen or any of those people got shot by somebody? Elsie and Mike have been my yeah. business partners before okay. we were run out okay. of the other place. But I think you're closer to Elsie than fucking Tommy Traeger. Mm hmm. Probably. Yeah. So. Would but you, it's probably would you no. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. We, Elsie you and I have a different. To Tommy than Elsie. We have a different relationship. Elsie and I were. What like what a, like what type? Of it's relationship? a different relationship. Every friend is different, Buford. Oh, fuck. Like what? What does that even mean? What? What do you mean? What I've is... watched Ryan and I've watched Ryan get fucking shot by people before while I was it, like, do, like for example, why didn't we go after um, Ed or Mark or any of those people when they shot up Ryan and Myra? I don't know, but I did. What were you doing? You did not go after. I did fuck. too. I kidnapped Mark McGray. It, 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 I kidnapped Mark McGray. Yeah, way before that, not after she. Not, <laughs> oh not no! After. Oh lord. You kidnapped Mark McGray when it was easy to kidnap Mark. Oh McGray. my God! Okay, all right. You all kidnapped right. Mark McGray while he had to while he had to uphold the badge, not when he was in a fucking gang down in Van Horn. That's the difference. There, he never would he have gotten to the be the gang in Van Horn that he was if people had done what they should have done in the first place. Anyways, uh, when Myra and Ryan were getting attacked by him and. Uh, getting attacked by that little group, I told Ryan and Myra I can't get involved because then they'll come after me and my group and I can't do that. And they were like, yes, I understand. But you didn't come up to me and say, let's go get Ed and Mark. No. You know why? Mm, because they were no, powerful but I and they had right. the capability of fighting back and that they had, they had the ability to come into a bar and shoot you. But see, this Zenaku fella, or whatever his name is, I don't know if he has a gang or a group of people. I'm sure he does in some capacity. But you're more willing to go after him because the risk is lower. So you can go up to him and, you know, shoot him in the face. But if he gets away... The risk is lower. What What on earth are you talking well, about? Well, why are you going after this guy? I did not say I'm personally anymore. going after him. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. But he needs to be dealt with. Then he needs to be fucking dealt with. Yeah, by the police. Let the police do it. Huh? Right? Yes, Buford. So we're both on the same page that going after people for no reason unless they're infringing upon our capabilities as a little group or anything like that is a problem, right? Yes, Buford. Okay, now you're being sarcastic. I'm not no being reason. sarcastic. This I'm is what you serious. want. I'm your yes man. I'm here to do what you no, tell me I'm to not, do and do your bidding. You I don't want you to yes man you. I just want a yes man me. I just want you to understand that going after some guy who poisons people, who has basically just made his little feud with a Native American fucking group of people and the police is not what you want to do as somebody who is essentially the fucking, you know, I don't, you know, you know what your problem, Buford. You know what your problem is. You're a bull in a fucking China cabinet, and you think everybody's no, going to be a bull, a bull in a fucking no, China. Do you know there are ways to do things to without lifting a, a finger? There are ways to do things without ever I lifting can be a, a finger. Bull in the China cabinet, but explain to me how I am a bull in a China cabinet. When have I ever acted out rashly where it doesn't make any sense to act out? Uh, you didn't hear what I said, and I... you just said I'm a bull in a China cabinet. And I'm scared Your that approach, everybody else will act you, in that way. Well, I mean, Buford, you think everything is, is above the board and on, like, the visual table. You think that things can't move in the background without anybody ever knowing about it. Tilly, if you do something, everybody's going to know about it. How? You're not very good at keeping that sort of stuff to And you know what? That's what's it. going to fucking change. Because I am sick and tired of hearing that shit about myself. Everybody pretending they know who I am, and yeah, I but haven't been good about it, but you know what? It's time to get good, so I'm going to get good, okay? What about you just play to your strong suits? And what are my strong book? suits, Buford? Please, tell me. What are they? Reading cards, uh, making sure that the group is kept hidden, uh, keeping everything in the bar running, Get those sorts of things. Yeah, and all of those things chalk up to a babysitter. Okay, but you're not good at those other things. Then maybe you need to find another gang member who is. But I... I that's very silly. That's very... No, it's not silly know, because I don't want to be your up. fucking babysitter. 
telling you that right now. Okay, yeah, but what are you gonna do? I'm not doing anything right now. Mm, you are gonna do something, but you're not gonna tell us about it. What makes you think then? Tilly, Why do you assume like, so much? Because how long have I known you now? Yeah, well, I, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of. I, you know what? I, I really, I really need to. I got some work to do. You know. Um, See, because people need to respect me, and I don't feel like I'm getting respected right now. I really don't. I really don't. Well, I mean, people who, you get respected by doing like. Yeah, you earn it. Things. And guess what? I'm gonna earn it. How? By going after some fucking no, no. no. The, leave the him out of it. Just fucking forget that and take it off the table. I'm talking oh in God. general right now, okay? I'm talking in general. You, you are really pissing me off. You're yeah. not hearing me. I'm not going to be a fucking mommy. Okay? Okay, yeah, so don't get involved. I don't want to be your fucking mother. Okay, I want to yeah, be a know, part of things, you know, not you know, you know, your fucking you know, front. You know, you know what's a mommy act? Going and helping AJ and Diane. That's a mommy act. You helping run a business and not getting caught by the police since you clearly have a connection that everybody else shouldn't know about is that's that's different right um i yeah obviously but i'm trying to figure out what the okay. point in that is that you said that you don't want to be a mommy or whatever i don't want to be like, your fucking so but you, you heard well yeah tilly Hello, go behind the bar drugs, oh jesus christ go behind the bar tilly read the cards tilly make everybody happy tilly don't, don't, don't have any personal feelings do? tilly don't fucking get involved, Tilly, because you'll get hurt, Tilly. Fuck off, feelings, man. I'm tired of you. You can't have personal feelings in this. What? You cannot have personal feelings in this situation unless it's something that's happened to the Fine. gang or an immediate family. I got you. Member. I got you. I hear what you're saying. I'm just telling you, if you really, really expect that of me, then what I expect of you is to be a member of the gang and not your goddamn babysitter. I mean, I'm babysitting you right now. Oh, you are, are you? Yes, I'm making sure that you're not going to go do something Did, silly. No, no, no. Now, don't you, don't even throw that at me. I haven't done anything. I, you know me. I talk a lot of smack. Don't fucking throw shit on me and assume I'm going to do something and treat me like that. Do you that. know that talking smack is really, really bad? Really, is it? Yeah. Do you know that talking smack led to a lot of things in roads? Really? Yes. From okay. Both sides, from, from, from me. Did I talk smack? Uh, in that bar every single day, you talk smack. To who? You talk about that. At the I didn't even know who the fucking Wicks right. were until the day they walked in that bar and dragged me out by my fucking hair. No, you knew exactly who they were. Remember, you sided with them first, and then we sided with them. Yes, remember the first time that we ever came there, you sided with them until get the fuck out of there, and then they betrayed you, and then you said, "What Please are come you? Back and help no, me. no, 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 no. That's bullshit. I never sided with them. Your your facts are fucked up." Okay, then explain to me what happened. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, the Wixes were me. over here in Blackwater, along with you and your little gang of thugs, robbing the shit out of people, which included, mm -hmm. let's see, I was standing here right here on this box right here, in the I rain. I can't hear you when you walk over there. Look, I, I I, you, you know what? I don't know if we can do this. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know because, frankly... I just think that, you know, you've got your ideas that you are the be all end all and right no matter what. And that nothing um, I say honestly, matters. Um, gonna be a and you know what? It needs to matter. And if it doesn't matter to you and you don't like who I am, then yeah, maybe you I'll need to get, work with I'll, someone I'll else. I'll just get tested yeah. across the and reiterated Bitch. in a nicer way for me. Then it'll be easier. You know, or maybe like, you could learn how to talk to people a little better huh yeah but here this is the different okay so first of all can we go back to the roads thing where you said that it was bullshit what i said yeah okay so you're in roads right i am in roads i wake yes. up one morning nope too far you're in roads what are you... you're at the bar you want to have a conversation with me tessa jack and everybody else right so we're at the bar and we're talking and then Je and then uh he comes inside and starts threatening Jack and everything and walking up the stairs. Jack pushes him down and tells him to stay back. Then you and the other girl... No, no, no. That is not what happened. Too. That is what not happened? what happened. What happened, though? I was in the bar. You guys yes. were there. I had yes. just woke up. The deputies were upstairs. They asked to speak with him. He went up nope. the stairs to speak with him. I did no. not hear what was going on between him, but I did see Jack... Leap no, at him and shove right him across the room, and I don't want that shit in my you bar. You were standing right next to us. 
I don't know what you know. Your then, your recollection then, of how things went and, and mine are completely told, different. I mean, completely he, different. Jack and everybody else have the same story, and then you ask us to come back and deal with them because they fucking up your bar and your place. Remember? That was after I'd been kidnapped and thrown off a goddamn bridge. Yeah. And then we went and did that, right? Yeah. What? What? What are you? What is this? What are we talking about here? Is that? No. Uh, you, you broke off or something? I didn't hear the rest of that. You get yourself in shit. I situations. did not get myself into that situation so with the wicks, and I will never, ever let anyone tell why me did that he I did. Kidnap you? Because he wanted to get to you. No, because he wanted to get to Artyom. I wasn't there yet, remember? You kicked us out, and you two were friends with each other, and then you had that Russian gang in there. And then one of the uh, Russians. I wasn't on even one awake when the Russians were around. I didn't even know what was going on. Okay, that's on you. It's your place. So what's your point? I never spoke to anybody about Artyom. I never spoke to the Wicks about Artyom. I never complained or talked smack to anyone about Artyom. The next thing I know, I'm getting oh. drug out of my fucking bar. No, you're acting like there's no you don't think that there's any cause and effect to like what happened? Like they ju they just woke up one day and said, "Yeah, let's drag her out of the bar." And kill yes. Her. Yeah. Yes. No, I think not, it was the easiest mean. thing for them to do but, because they knew but, where I was all the yeah, time. But why? Why? Because Why they, they were, I was connected to the people they were after. Who? Artyom? Artyom. Yes, and Artyom was in your bar. What? That's, yeah, yes, and yes, Buford. Of... But I wasn't talking smack. I never even spoke to the Wicks before the first time they grabbed me. But he did snitch and you covered for him. Who? Artyom. Covered for him? What are you talking about? Why else would they rip you out of your bar and shoot you? I don't know. That's a good fucking question. I, I didn't snitch on anybody. Oh my god, are you I kidding me right now? I what never, do you mean? I just I never spoke to anybody. Are you confusing me with someone else? Because I think you are. <laughs> no. I yes, just, you I are. I don't remember these events. All right. Or should I say... I just don't think you remember them, how they went. I think you don't recall them correctly. I think you have your version of the facts, and I the have few mine. Good men. What about them? Another situation where you talked smack about them, and they came and fucked you up. No, I did not. I did not. What the fuck do you even know about that situation? You are hardly even around. Well, I was around, but I wasn't like you know. I was just. That it, do you know where that came from? You know what? where that came from? That came what? from Bart, from the Red Sashes. Yeah, did they just attack you for no reason? Yes, they did. I was on a wagon on my way back from Tumbleweed, and I got pulled off the fucking wagon while I was doing a delivery by a guy who carved something into my leg about the few good men. I'd never even heard of them until that point. Yeah, but why did he do that? That's a good question. I don't so, know, uh, so, because I knew Bart. I don't know. So Buford? all these people who have ever attacked you, they just do it for no reason? Yes. No reason, uh, just over Maybe and over and over again. Maybe not all people no and ever. all of the time I've ever met, but a lot of the shit that you went down that back there. Silly, right? Yeah, all right, we're done. We're done. Okay. Don't go after uh, Zanaku. So, uh, is terrible Timmy, the Timmy Oof. with the hatchet? Yeah, he's knocked out. No one cares about Deacon. Fuck yeah, he horse. tried to walk out the door, and that horse yeah. ran him over and smashed him the door. I didn't even see him. What happened? Nobody gives a shit about this guy. <laughs> just, uh, Tilly just walked over his fucking. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> even see him. Where's the doctors? Fucking mind is uh, on some Myra, other thing. Myra's right? standing beside me, but she you know, thought. Myra, I know. it's, it's good to Myra's see you. Horse. Doctor, we gotta She's pronounce really thinking dead. about that cigarette. Uh, just put him upstairs in the bedroom. Be we gotta... Whose horse is that? This ain't gonna fly. I, I can't do this. Uh, yeah, I know. Whoever's horse that is. Oh my god. You know, I've seriously been it's chewing Deacon. on the idea. He tried to call it. Am I the only one who saw it? Oh, it's Deacon. Yeah, oh god. It's on a rampage out uh, there. Mr. Meter? Yeah. Are if, you if okay? I'm, yes, I'm. I'm fine, Kurt. Thank you. Uh, I was checking my uh, pouch and I found that 
There was, uh, appears to be a package for you. Sorry. Deke is upstairs. He got oh. kicked by a horse. Oh. Oh. I don't remember picking this up, but, um, oh, here you go. Did his horse get taken under control, or is it still snapping out? Jed's got it. Jed's got it was it. fucking snapping the fuck out outside. Yeah, it kicked me too. About the size of the card, don't you think? Yeah, thank you. Guys, I think we just Who's it from? Is there any... <laughs> Can't say. I don't remember even picking it up. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, I guess I'll go take a look at this box. Thank you, Kurt. Appreciate it. Certainly. What would you think about something like that, Mr. Newt? Like a like a 15 minute parking policy or something? Hey, Owen. If, if you all need anything, uh, just let me know. I'll be right back. I, I need to go home for a few you minutes. Were supposed to hey, Newt, you need to drink right? water. Eat. Kind of yeah, uh, I don't think it's like. I was. I'm no, thinking I about making like an official. Can I borrow you for a minute? Policy, but I don't think oh, okay. it is one Absolutely. Yet. Would you like to come up to the roof with me? Yeah, well, pleasure. Right where I got fucking axed. No, those are just the great herons. Do that about yourself, brother. <laughs> sure. That was Jed. What's the matter? Can I move the um, okay? Sorry. Um, I got a question for you. Hold on. Okay. Here. I got an answer for you. Okay. You've been around That's since the beginning. Good. From the beginning when everything happened. Well, sort of, yeah. <laughs> no, I want you to tell me something. <laughs> Do you feel like I was asking for it? With you the were wigs. asking for... Do you think that I, no. I provoked them into attacking me? <laughs> no. I know that there were certain situations that you could have not brought up or not <laughs> talked about, but to be honest with you, you didn't talk about anything any more than anyone else. You were targeted. Thank you. I am tired of hearing the shit. I'm, I'm just tired of it, Buck. I'm tired of people fucking telling me that... Uh, I need to just shut up, sit behind the bar, and be the pretty little bartender. Okay, any other random injury? I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of hearing that I somehow oh, that? asked for this, and I somehow deserved it. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm just needed to make sure Okay, let's get you up. that I wasn't well, as as fucking I imagining tell. my recollection of the whole series of fucking events. Yeah. Who's telling you you were I'm asking not gonna for? Say nothing. No, it's not really in those <laughs> words. I ain't gonna say nothing. Just, uh... Nothing ever happened. Just accusations that because I opened What's my mouth, name, those friend? things happened to me, that it was my own fault somehow. You know. I know that, I'm going to be honest with you, Tilly. You're opinionated. Yeah. You don't like something, you tell people. Yeah. I don't like that. That person's being an ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, when word gets around that Tilly's saying that person's being an ass... That's all that gets around. See, Not yeah. that you didn't yeah. like that. or. And that how many I... times do you say when someone you bothers you? How many times do you say in your know, life, I don't like that person? I just said, I, how I many times do you now. voice hey, your goodbye, goodbye, Deacon. 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 You. about people in your life Deacon, that you I'm don't like? Horse down, down the street. Just as much. Exactly. So why does it have to be different for me? Why? Because everybody sees me? Is that why? Not seeing you again. I don't. Oh, I can't should hear. Fuck. Nope, sorry. No, 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 no. Hey, can, can you guys maybe... stop yelling? For Christ's sake, I can't hear myself think. Okay. So bad. I'm not saying that oh. it should fall on you harder than anyone else. It shouldn't. Not whatsoever. Goodbye, and I don't think that you said anything about any one of them that made you any worse than anyone else. Be honest with you, 
they particularly had their own thoughts. And from what I can discern from the entirety of the situation in which that I was involved with as well, there you go, there you they believe for whatever reason that Buford was muscling in on a gun store Ooh, situation or something and, and all equated to them <laughs> and why exactly you were targeted out of everyone. Can't say. That first day that, that they took unfair. me back, I had no fucking clue. I know. I had no fucking clue. I know. And why, for instance, I was never targeted in that whole situation. I have no idea. There were because plenty I of times was where easy. you and me were walking around, and they could have easily grabbed me. But they didn't. They continued to pick at you. Yeah. So, it was if easy. you ask me know. if you had it coming, I don't think so. I was just as open. I was just as involved. I was just as vocal about what scumbags they were and what they were up to. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I appreciate well, it. I sure as hell don't think you should be dwelling I on it. No, it was just something that happened no just now and was, was sent to me, and I'm fucking really thinking. pissed off about it, and I'm just... I've heard it so much, but I'm so live. tired of it. I'm so tired of it. Just over and over. You know, don't involve uh -huh. yourself. I mean, what am I supposed okay. to do? Just sit behind the bar and let things happen. So Just sit behind the bar up? and not what? care. What are you not supposed to get involved in now? Ah, fucking Zenaku and Tommy. I'm upset about Tommy. Zenaku's running around hurting Diane and Nyak, and now Tommy's dead. But I'm not supposed to have any feelings about that. I'm sorry you lost your friend. Uh, I know that you and Tommy were friends, and you considered him a friend at one point. Why? I can't even understand. Yeah, sometimes I'm I don't even understand it. But Tommy had a different even side, attempt you know? to. Yeah. But I'll tell you like it is. From my point of view. And from my point of view, being an individual who was at that said event... One that happened today. Yeah. Also been around several times while Zeniku's been running around doing things. <sighs> so, I'll tell you, from my point of view, how I see the situation and what I know. Fact in point is, Tommy had made a name for himself. He had done some things, threatened some people, both in Blackwater and in Valentine. Tommy, as you know, I had no particular problem with other than the fact that he was breaking the law. <laughs> Again, not my job to handle, so I stayed out of it. But I can say, Tommy did a lot of bad things and claimed to be a pretty badass guy. At least from what I hear. Yeah. So, fact in point. When Tommy decided that he was going to duel in place today. He had a bounty on his head was instructed that by the marshal. The marshal said that if he was willing to do it, he would clear his bounty. He wouldn't even say anything about it. It was an opportunity for two bad people to deal with it. Hmm. It was a chance for Zeniku to go away forever. It was a chance for Tommy to live the life that he said he lived. To be who he said he was. That was it. He made his decision there weren't much stopping him. I know Diane and Nyack tried to talk him out of it. He wanted to do it. So, it's much like the duel that happened between Jack and that other fella. Is that guy gone for good? That's all I want to know. Zeniku? Yeah. No. What do you as mean? typical, in state law, they held him for as long as they could hold him for until he beats a rap sheet or gets a rap sheet big enough to swing from the neck not much they can do and the best thing they can hope for is rehabilitation that's the way the law works that's the way it's always worked and I can't change that neither can you mm -hmm. unless somebody goes and deals with them on their own accord and deals with the way. consequences of taking such actions on their own accord there's nothing we can do I had a lengthy conversation with Elena about this and my feelings I'm saddened at the loss of life. I am. Sometimes people just don't want to change. 
They want to go around hurting people because it makes them feel good or them feel big or it fixes them in some way. But the case in point is, all it does is destroy society. And sometimes, with a sick dog, when the dog has no recourse, no way to learn, no way to change them into a better member of society, dogs just got to get put down. As far as I'm concerned, Seneco ain't never going to change his ways, and he needs to be put down. Legally, they need to have him do enough stuff that they can legally put him down. It so, does, doesn't it? till that point, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. Hmm. I hate saying it, because we've gone over this time and time again. Somebody should have just put Jason down. Right? Somebody should have just put this person down, those Lemoyne Raiders down. I just wonder how it would have been different, Buck, if we had taken the other path. If it would have been different if we actually took the offensive instead of constantly being on the defensive, instead of constantly taking the high road. How would it have been different for us? Oh would it have God. changed our lives? Oh, little woodpecker. Would it have made yeah, any difference? Yeah, you douse him in fucking fish oil. What I know it would have changed our lives, Tilly. I know it. Fact in point is, I don't remember the red sashes ever waiting around for somebody <laughs> to deal with them, somebody else who harmed them or hurt them or no. did them wrong. No. <laughs> how, yeah, how, and how did that end up for Tommy? How did that end up for Frank? <laughs> I think, if I'm being honest... Had we taken the offensive and dealt with the situation yeah, ourselves, wives. we wouldn't be in the position we are. You owning and working in a bar, being able to talk oh, to everybody and enter to town freely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think We'd be you, this is like thing that Mexican wrong. gang running all the time, unable to stop in, buy a bottle of water just to keep myself alive. We'd have been on the wrong side of the law in the end of it. Whether we liked it or not, whether we were doing the right thing for the wrong reason or the wrong thing for the right reason, we still would have ended up like every other criminal, wanted by the law. Think mm. back. Joseph thought he was doing the right thing. How'd that work out for Joseph? Joseph was a narcissistic <laughs> maniac. Either way, when, when, thought he was doing you, the right uh, thing. When did you marry your thought he was father, taking care of bad people. He had that all built up in his head that he was right. He didn't want to see the other side of the story. He was kidnapping and putting down bad people. Essentially, that's what we would have been doing. How did it end up? Either way, you end up on the bad side of the law. So, you either take matters into your own hands and you get hunted by both sides. Or, you do your best to try and stay the course. Hope that it all works out in the end with a little faith and trust. It's a shit situation, no matter how you look at it. Yeah. I'm just getting tired of hearing people. I feel like a dog. I feel like, pat me on the head and tell me to go sit behind the bar and do my job. Be the Tilly everyone expects me to be. I don't want to be her anymore. I'm tired of her. Be the Tilly you want to be. That's all that matters. Yeah. I know. I keep thinking I know who that is, and then people fucking fuck with me and start telling me that that's not okay, you know? Fact and point is, people are going to have their opinions. I know a number of people who didn't think it was okay that me and Elena get together. I did it for me. Sometimes you just got to do what's right for you. And whatever consequences that brings, it brings. But you can't be upset if people don't want to see you get hurt for your choices. No. Not upset about that. I'm, okay, a, I'm so upset about the anticipation. He's had I'm, I'm upset at the blame. These people who literally have been shot up for while, for so many life. times since we came here. You know how many times I've been shot up? None. None. I know. Uh, we so need Birdie. We need why am I still living under the shadow of that fucking history? 
Do you know where it puts me? It puts me on the outside. It puts me behind a bar with a little pad on my head. Don't, don't get yourself in trouble, Tilly. Don't involve yourself, Tilly. We don't want to have to come and pick you up, Tilly. And you know why? Because I'm visible. You know what? I'm in way less shit. Way less more shit. I can't even speak right at this point. Way less shit than the majority of these before? people right now are in. Allegedly. I don't even know what's going on around here anymore. Because I'm so far detached from everything. Nobody tells me anything. Nobody talks to me. They just tell me to sit in oh. my little corner <laughs> and do my little job. What was that? Because we don't want Dilly getting hurt anymore. Ah, oh, fuck that shit. I'm not going to get hurt anymore. I will tell you that oh, right wait, now. Wait, all 13 of them were dead? It's not about getting hurt anymore, Tilly. You got to do what's right for you. Just tired of hearing it, fuck. That's all. Tired of living. Uh, I feel like I'm just Don't getting... worry about hearing it. Ignore hearing it. Who cares who's for saying sure. it? It matters to, to you. me because the people Be that are saying it. it are people I trust. Or trusted. I don't know. I don't know. I just mostly uh, wanted to know. I just wanted to know if my recollection of those events were different because I don't really feel like <laughs> I did anything to provoke them. Any more than... I wasn't any different than anybody else. I didn't know all they would did come after me. Ground. I didn't know That's they would it. do that. I didn't I fucking know they would do all that shit. All we did was stand our ground, Tilly. That's it. If a man and a woman can't stand their ground... Allegedly. Point. Allegedly. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry to take up your time. I just... Tilly? Yeah. Shut up. All right. You can take up my time anytime. Mm. Allegedly. My time is your time. I told guess. you that before. Whether I'm the governor or not, it doesn't matter. I'm still your friend. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least I hope. Of course you are. Of course you are. You know, I had my no. little fucking meltdowns in my time. I tried to figure out what I wanted for myself. I went away, I came back, and I decided what I wanted. And and now it seems I cannot break this picture so, of who I was. So, what you wanted. Forget about breaking any pictures. Just do it. People don't like it? Don't Damn. Really Too it. bad. Guess what? Tilly of old's gone. This is me. Deal with it. That means you don't come around, then fuck you. Yeah. This is Tilly. This is me being who I am. Stand your ground and be yourself. Just feel like Same as you stood it before. <laughs> I hope I can. I hope it's I like can. Sinesia. I know you can, if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta be willing to make those sacrifices. Those people who are your friends. They'll see what you're doing. They'll see how happy you are being you and doing what you meant to do. And they'll stand by you. Yeah, yeah. Or it won't matter. Now. You're right. You're right. On a much less enthusiastic note. I meant to let Andy talk to you about it herself. But it seems that things are moving faster than I thought they were gonna. So I'm gonna prepare you. You know a lot about, uh, yeah, you know a lot about being just in the Andy general area. Andy got a area, telegram but... from her brother. Okay. In Carson City. I won't go into details about what the letter says other than He's requested her presence. The way she explained it to me, she asked what I thought she should do. And I told her the same thing I just finished telling you. She's got to do what's right for Andy. So, it's just more to this my impression that, that she's leaving for Carson with. City in the next couple days. Did you have well, all 13 wives at the same time? Is that, is that what I'm sure she's going to want to talk to you. Because I told her she should talk to you before she leaves. But. Oh my. It seems that there are certain people, people who are moving for that void and vacuum mm -hmm. of power. Yes. And well. I'll be honest with you. Even as governor. I understand how 
There needs to be a strong presence of Sheriff's belt yeah, in Valentine. Nice painting. Yes. Especially with all the shit that's going yeah, on. It's a good but it needs so, to be the right it's, presence. It's, uh, really, it really captures or it will destroy more than it will do. That's why my first nomination is for Booker. Mm, Booker has handled yeah, himself well, and he's shown to be a member of the community, but mm. I'll be honest with you. Isaiah's. Booker has been what, unavailable what for the at? past week. A couple looks days, like a, from what I understand, yeah, at least. I thought it was uh, like with the souls. Or be honest with you, it's not helping his case much. But, uh, it's so, a flower vase and some roses. It sounds Good as though flower. Deacon aims to throw his name in the hat. Now I'm skeptical well, of Deacon, we... mostly on the point that he's supposed to be a defense <laughs> lawyer. And he isn't. He was a deputy before and gave that up. I have doctors who don't even want to fucking come to work you. because of his mouth. I have people that have been insulted by him left and right, and you think he's going to be good for a community as a sheriff? No, I don't no. necessarily think he's good for uh, community. Sorry, I generalized there. That was not. I did not mean that to sound very right, funny. Just saying. Yeah. Okay. I'm just not sure what, what to think about. I'm not him. sure either, but... Uh, yeah, fact yeah. of the matter is, I don't have anyone else to put there directly. It's not my decision anyways, and it's probably going to go to a community vote. <laughs> well, maybe it's time Tilly became sheriff, huh? Should I put a badge on, Buck, you think? Sheriff you Tilly think I'd, get it done. You think I'd do a good job? Yep. Hell yes, I yep. do. Well, then maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to do something completely different from anything I ever did before. Howdy, bros. But I don't think oh. they'd let me anyway. I got too much jail time <laughs> all you gotta do is make right by it judgment yeah. praise what elena judgment did praise yeah. she pretty much kissed ass to the court proved that in front of a judge <laughs> representing the state that she's sorry for what she did she wanted to clean her record and start off new she wanted to make good on her good intentions they expunged her record and Somehow She's I don't think things are going to be that simple for me, but I appreciate the sentiment, and frankly, I wouldn't make a good sheriff. Just Why? Me. What? Hi. I agree. Why what? Why wouldn't you? You know who I am. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd have problems with putting down the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> No, I probably wouldn't have problems with that as much as you would think. No, I know. I'm teasing. You're a free okay. spirit and reforming to a system such as the law. Well, that might be a yeah. bit of a stretch for a free bird like mm -hmm. you. I think it probably would be, but... Yes, it is. If it meant keeping people out of there that shouldn't Can't be play. here, well, I would do it in a second. Well, and the other thing that if you were apt to that sort of thing, you wanted to help people... You wanted to have a little bit of free will to go after people who have done wrong. My stomach brain sounds. But you didn't want to stick to all the all of them. Tight knit law good. paperwork yeah. that the law brings. They're gone. You should always throw yourself a bounty hunter badge on. Go after people, <laughs> but go after <laughs> the right <laughs> ones. Make a little money doing it. Hmm. It's Just a thought. thought. It's a thought. You want to see the tooth fairy? Yeah, I got a lot of things to think about, but. What's bothering was bothering me the most was a conversation I had with someone recently. Oh, that's a mess. There's about look my supposed conversation with all of the beatings that I got. The one that you went outside for, the two of you. Yeah. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, Buford has a lot of opinions. Like, I'm the governor, <laughs> so I should just be sitting in my house in Rhodes. Patiently sitting there waiting for someone to come to me with some idea or thing that they want to change. Not being active, not being a member of the community, not going out and talking to people, just sitting there waiting. Waiting in my big house for someone to come to me with a problem that I could solve. And you know how Ian suggested I solve that problem, Tilly? If it's a matter with the law, then you go to the deputies and you say, here's the problem, go fix it. It's the if it's a matter with the doctors, then you say, coffee. here, doctors, this is a problem. Go fix it. And then I waddle myself back to my big, pretty house, and I sit in the chair in front of the fire and <laughs> sip my brandy and smoke my cigar. You know what? Howdy. I'm not a politician. Howdy. I'm not going to bring down the Republican Party's forum and let them explain to me how best I should run the state. Fact in point is, 
I'm a member of the community, just like every one of you, and I'm going to get out and I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to ask you what your problems are. I'm going to ask you what you need changed. And then I'm going to work my little happy mustached butt off to try and make sure that it works. No. Why? Because that's me. And that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. And if yeah. everybody doesn't like it, tough shit. Put somebody else in the chair. Yeah, I hear you. You need to do the same thing. Be Tilly. Yeah. If you're going to run on that side of the law, be prepared to sit in a cell. But if you don't run on that side of the law, you don't got nothing to worry about. Yeah. The choice is yours. Just make yourself happy, for Christ's sake, Tilly. Yeah, that's all I want. That's all I really want. That's all I want for you. I know. I know. All right. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to stay up here and think a little while longer. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you for... Just don't stay so long you freeze to death since you didn't bring a fucking coat, dummy. Oh, I'm going to dance my little heart off. Fair enough. I'll be all right. Thank you. Good. If you need to talk... Let me know. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Likewise. Bye, Myra. Sleep well. would cave your skull in before you put your face in the pouch. What the fuck's a kangaroo? You don't know what a kangaroo? No, it sounds like a made up fucking thing that you're gonna be like, haha, you're gullible. No, no, they're, they're very real. Uh, I don't even know how to quite explain them. You just, you, you'd have to go to a library and look it up in a book. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Good night, Myra. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta head home. I'm stressing out. Good night, Myra. Good night, Myra. Good night, Myra. I love you. Oh yeah, I tell you, she does that. It's kind of Tilly's thing. It's uh, it kind of hopefully I can get down the ladder without falling off this time. It's not gonna work. The ladder's not gonna work. Why isn't gonna work? This is totally not gonna work. I'm gonna bust my ass. The ladder's being a bitch. Why is the ladder being a bitch? Oh, there we go.
Uh, it's very the okay. Well, we are a new server. Um, we created this. We we came in here. Cotton uh, Heike, who if you've met in here before, is the owner. Uh, Gemma is one of the head admins. Um, but we all came here kind of together and we created the server. So we're kind of in this place right now where we're trying to figure that out. Crim RP is different depending on what kind of gang. There is the slow burn criminal. Uh, there are cannibals. Yes, there are cannibals, actually. Um, but I, at least on PRC, I've seen them. But not yet. Not here. There haven't been any specifically in this server. But yes, there are. Uh, on PRC, there, there are people who have played cannibals. No, not here, Scrappy. Not in our server. Um, but it, it varies. You know, it depends on the kind of crim RP you want to play. You can go from being totally deranged, uh, you know, like um, forest-dwelling cannibals to your slow burn um, in society uh, criminals who kind of do things under the surface and in the darkness and in the cover of darkness and through other people. Uh, and then there is criminals like the Mexican gang that we tried to make. Yeah, you can be RDR2 cat. Yes, you can. And then in, in the other side of things, you've got like the Mexican group we tried to make. Uh, well, we had going here last week where I had Maria... Um, where we were just literally robbing people and highway robbing and kidnapping and trying to make money that way. So um, there's so many different, there's just so many different ways you can go. It, the world is your oyster. Whatever you want to do here, you can do it. It's just the things that they avoid here are supernatural. That's, that's what they stay away from. Um, we don't like, we don't want that. It needs to ha you need to always have plausible deniability when it comes to any kind of supernatural, you know, plot lines or anything like that. Um, but, I mean, really, you can be any kind of criminal you want to be. It's, uh, it's just kind of up to your imagination and the level of creativity that you have as a person. And I know your creativity levels through the roof. I've seen your writing. Yeah, and, and uh, both above and below. He's, 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 our, he's my supernatural boy. He loves that shit. And, and I, we have run supernatural timelines before, but it's been private like in a small group of people where we don't share that, we don't involve other people. We just kind of keep it like in the, like a little box because you know, you don't want to, you don't want to force RP somebody into supernatural shit. The people get really weird about supernatural role play. They get really weird. Um, and they just freak out. Now me, I'm the kind of role player. I'll fucking role play anything you throw at me. I really will. I don't care what it is. I really don't care what it is, but that gets, you know, some people just don't like it. And I've noticed that nine times out of ten, that supernatural role play is just Hello, Ms. garbo, uh, you know. Uh, hi, who said then? Hi there, who said then? Oh, it's Jed. Oh, hey, Jed. Hey, sorry about that. Oh, no, you're fine. So, uh, yeah. You uh, okay? What? Yeah, all right. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know, just stand out some boxes... I am the queen of the bar. I'm standing on my throne. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, how are you doing, Wesley? Not too bad. Not too bad. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Yeah, and then that's where, right. where well, Tilly's at. Fall she, she does her uh, tarot, tarot right. readings and stuff. I, I read tarot. I'm not going to get... Do you think... Oh, really, Wesley? I'm going to get hurt falling off the box? I'm just Seriously? saying. I don't know. Wesley. Just, you know, Wesley, just... come on. You insult me. I mean, it's a, it's a far fall. It's, it is not. It's this is it's not it's not it, the boxes aren't even as tall as you. See, look. Uh, oh no! As, as Ouch! Oh, that oh, hurts yeah, so I, bad. No, down. Oh That's my goodness! Falling. Yeah. Have you ever seen me fall off a box before? Have you seen? Have, and, and, and for that matter, have you ever seen anybody fall off a box before? Oh wait, I probably could fall off the box if I really tried. Here, let me try and see if I can Don't fall try off the box. Fall off the box. I was just trying to be nice and tell you to oh, be safe. Oh, I fell off the box. Oh, amazing, amazing though, amazing though. I'm perfectly fine, strangely enough, because enough. four feet from the ground really doesn't do that much damage. But yeah, I get you. I'm just fucking with you. It's good to see you, Wesley. It's good to see you too. Yeah. You're just, just thinking about some shit up here? Yeah, just... yeah, I'm just thinking about stuff. Enjoying the night air, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Why don't you get back to it? All right. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. What's yes. up? Okay, yes, thank sir. you. I'm having a headache. Oh. oh, sorry, mister.
here cause a disturbance, Wade? Can you cause disturbances? Uh, Miss Tilly? Yes. Whoa, uh, you okay? Uh, yeah. I was just looking at what was in the box, actually. Anything interesting? Um, well, a tarot card. So now I need to see what it means. Hmm. hmm. Shouldn't be too hard, I suppose. No, not for me, I guess. Anyway, any more packages, I'll sure to throw them your way. Thank you. Thank you, Kurt. I appreciate it. Also, uh, try and keep your head straight. Uh, as a mailman, I, uh, I've seen a lot of things, but, uh, this, these territories seem to, um, bring out the foolishness and the wickedness of most people. Uh. Yes, it does. It does indeed. Thank you, Kurt. I will uh, take that into consideration. Well, have fun with your cards, miss. Thank you. You're a wonderful man, Mr. Kurt. Hello, Miss Tilly. How are hey, you? Hey, Wade, I'm all right. How are you? I'm fine. I just need to make some money real quick doing I don't know what. But, yeah? Uh, yeah. I'm going to get me a bow and do some hunting. Maybe talk to them fellas up in Valentine. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see here. What's the best advice you... No, don't give me no money now. I don't want no money. All right. Did you uh, get yourself set up? No, I, I have not yet, but I have a horse. I have a revolver and a knife. I need a bow and a lasso, maybe. Do you have money to buy them? No, I have $2. Uh, well, then, you're going to take table, money, sir. whether you uh, like it or not. My God, Miss Tilly, I love you. I miss you so much. You know, I wrote you a letter, but I couldn't give you... <laughs> I didn't have way, any way to. There oh my go. God, Miss Tilly! You know, I I wrote you a letter, and uh, I couldn't find you on the Discordia, but <laughs> I wondered what happened, and I'm glad you're back. Look, Even if you do call me Mister all the time, I I never did. I never did, Miss Tilly. You know me. <laughs> I sometimes jump out of my mind ball and say uh, stupid things. Close one time. I'm a victim no. You just of my keep being weighed, okay? You just keep hey, being weighed. I still do all right. I Take love care. you very much. I love you too. Anyway, any of you need postage? No, I don't think so at the moment. Oh my god. Jeez. Where the hell did she go? Where did who go? You didn't see Tilly? She's standing Shh. right here at the table. Oh, what's right hell? behind you? She's right here. Yeah, I'm right here. Who's looking for me? I don't know. Lucius just acted like he got sucked up into the sky. Oh, hey, Lucius. Uh, how's it going? Uh, it's 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 going. I'm just looking at a gift I received and trying to figure out what it means. Miss, do you mind if I put my head down on the table for a second? No, not at all. Help yourself. Son of a bitch, made me yawn. Yeah, I did too. Oh god. Fucker. Good night, Scrappy. All right. Well, let me just. Yeah, I got restitched up, and I think I'm gonna go to bed. Fuck. 
I will see everybody you feeling tomorrow. Okay? Sleep well, yeah. Judge. Yeah, Luke. I'm good. Uh, I got axed yesterday and then kicked today, so I'm just gonna go. All right, sleep take well, a nap. <laughs> good night. Thanks. See y'all. Sleep night, well. It's hard to know how to interpret the card because no, when you receive night. a card Thank as a gift like this, you don't know if it's upright or upside down. So we're just gonna go with the the general uh, meaning of the Wesley. card, and I'm gonna go ahead and read it. But I'm not gonna read it out loud. This is in Tilly's head Wesley. because she's trying to figure out what it means and who sent it to her. Wesley. So. Yeah, what can I do for you? <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can always use some new firearms. What do you think, Jed? Oh, yeah. Oh, so, like, I what, just told like, you. Can, we, can I do like... I think I missed something. You know, maybe donate some of my horse race uh, money to your little uh, Blackwater Sheriff's Department. I also saw you stutter, stutter in there a little bit. What'd you say? Well, I didn't catch the first uh, part. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I just didn't catch the first part. I we said... Maybe a pretty... I said... If you want, whenever I host my next horse race, I can take some of the entry money and I can give it to you so that you guys can get new firearms. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, uh... Yeah. And, it, and it'd be, like, good for your department and, like, have a good relationship with the public and everything? Right, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good to know. We can get that sorted at some point. Naughty nice of you. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> what? You can ask Wesley. I, I don't, oh, I don't I know. Anything. The only time that I've ever not been nice is Flatneck. <laughs> yeah, but you, you know, you served your time to society for this. Yeah. Paid your penance. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to shoot those hostages. <laughs> so <it's> just, <laughs> Misses it's still daytime. Oh, my cat's my cat's covering my eyes. <coughs> uh, yeah, yes, it's daytime. It is. Well, thank you for letting me rest with it. <laughs> Not a problem. Well, well, back to do these. Yeah. Do you all do shotguns or something? Yeah, mine's getting a little. Like, uh, you know what we need? We need a gunsmith back in town. I can't yes. wait for a gunsmith to be back in town. I know. Well, the governor and Booker told me that there was one on the way. The governor's a gunsmith? No, they told me that there was coming one coming in the territory. What, what details was that? Over well, I was, I was talking, I was admiring Booker's, uh, Litchfield rifle and asked him when he got it and he said that he was the only one in the territory and I, he also mentioned to me that uh, a friend of his or an acquaintance was coming to the town to start up a gunsmithing business and he put a good word in for me and I mentioned oh, the same thing with Puck and he said he'd put a good word in for me so I may get myself a Litchfield soon. I talked to a guy over in Rhodes, Alex Alexander. Do you need any postage mail? Yes. Yep. Have a good day. Who the hell was that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Where is this card? Let's see here. Generally speaking, it's about making dreams come true. I don't understand. 
It's about the seed of potential. It's about taking action. It's about vision. And soul connections, intentions. It's about being the best that we can be. Creating the futures that we want. The magician is all about commitment and focus. Reversed could be something completely different. It's about inaction, being uncertain and unsure. It's about the breadcrumbs that we follow in our lives to take us where we need to go. And whether or not we follow them. It's about struggling to see progress or success. It's about ideas that never gain any power. Wade. It's about outcomes that never come to fruition because of misdirection. It's about greed, sometimes, sometimes manipulation but mostly about being out of touch with who we are. Intentionally, unintentionally, who knows? The magician is all about potentials, realized or unrealized. So who sent this and what does it mean for me? <laughs> what does it mean? Great, now you've been sold in miles. Doesn't even matter. Hey. Hey. You I okay? have to ask you about that. About what? The package you got from that mailman. Ah, there was a card in it. A tarot card. It's the second one I've received. The first, um... God, what was the first... The Fool. And today I received another one. And today it was the Magician. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know who's sending them to me. I don't know what it means, if anything at all. Do the cards they're sending you have any specific significance to anything? Not I mean, that I'm obviously aware of, other you know, than what they stand for. Yeah, I mean, other than just being able to interpret the meaning of, of the fool and the magician and how it applies to me or what situation this is about, I, I don't know. I, would. I don't know. It's, it's a mystery to me. It doesn't seem threatening in any manner. They're beautiful cards. They're, they're vivid. They're almost alive. So full of color. So completely full of color. I just could stare at them all day. Well, if your opinion on them changes in any way, let me know. Of course. Of course I will. Of course. Just trying to figure out everything right now. Buck, honestly, I, I don't I don't know. I keep thinking I know and I I'm finding a direction and then it just Turns a corner that I don't like. Life has a way of doing that with you. Yeah, indeed it does. Indeed it does. 
but you know, it'll be all right. Hi there, how are you? Pretty good, yourself? I'm good, what's your name? Ace. Ace, pleasure to meet you, my name is Tilly. Welcome to nice the to uh, Queen of Cups. I'm one of the owners of the bar behind me here. Nice. If you need anything, just let me know. We're happy to All help. Right. Thank you. You're quite welcome, Ace. Hmm. Ace is one of the newer fellows in town. Yeah, I haven't met him before. Oh, look, there's Samson. Samson with his weird silk blue scarf around his neck. Hey, Samson, you never asked me on that date, you little bitch. Hi, Samson. Yeah. yeah. Samson's a, a disappointment. Stuck up that one. He, he is. I'm telling you, he really is. Yeah. I, uh, just, I'm happy. I'm just in my own little world trying to figure things out, you know? You don't have to worry about me. I'm all right. Not saying I'm worried. Just letting you know I'm here. That's all. I appreciate that. There's yeah. been a lot of time where you felt like I wasn't, so uh, making sure I'm being clear. I don't overkill it now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad to see you back around more. I've missed you. I've missed you too. Just trying to keep things in order, you know? Yeah, I know the feeling. Doesn't matter how much we try, though, does it? Nope, everything continues to spin ridiculously <laughs> out of my control. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. We love it and we hate it. Yeah, it's kind of a love-hate thing. It is, it is. It's nice to be back in Blackwater, though, that's for sure. Yep. You'll excuse me. There's a fox I have to catch. Yeah. I'll be back. Yeah, no problem. Go catch your fox. I refuse Last to listen. Yeah, hey. No, US, no oh. Kurt. He's a simpleton. What? You, I'm not simple, and I'm not a ton, mister. I weigh about... <laughs> I don't know the metric system <laughs> in this state, but I'd say... Oh, Lucius, I'm not used to seeing you without your big fur jacket and your exactly. hat on. You look good. Uh, somehow thank you. you have I felt a little underdressed. Everybody system. else looks so single. clean in here. Uh, oh. Tilly's he's single. What? He's single. Who? The guy that you just comp complimented. Lucius. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, uh, Current, well, yeah. That's nice to know. <laughs> that's nice to know that you're single. Uh, why imagine that? So am I. Uh, <laughs> Hey, Lucius, I am you wanna, you wanna uh, <laughs> want me to lend you my pet bird? Uh, your what? <laughs> no, I don't want your pet bird, Wade. No, I was, I was talking to Lucius. Hi, can I help you? Oh, uh, yeah, could I get two drinks? Thanks, one for myself and one for my friend. Come on, Mr. Kurt, let's go. All right, what kind of drink would you like? Uh, good whiskey, thanks. Both of us. Now, if you can't oh. see them on the counter, just let me know. This is Tobias, by the way. Howdy, beautiful. Oh, Tobias. Well, hello, Tobias. It's All a right, pleasure I'm to meet you. Can you, can you see those? Tobias, introduce yourself. I can see those. All right, well, you can, uh, can, you, pick, can you pick them up? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I should I be awake. Oh, oh, oh you time. got both? I think I accidentally Nikki? took one from you. Hold on. Right, come here. No, I got both of them. I got both of them. Really? That's odd. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, yeah. well, enjoy. It's a pleasure to meet you. I Tobias, I'm Tilly. Uh, have we? I, I don't remember that. Hello? Howdy. Hi there. Uh, I don't. This is, uh, Holy this is the shit. I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, wow. Are we are we related? <laughs> I like your hair. I like yours too. I like your pants as well. Not bad, huh? Mm. Um, I'm sorry, have we met before? Uh, oh, so you're a little, you're a well very close I'm right sorry, you know yeah, that you piano like, could just be just exactly like Tilly. God, thank you. an automatic <laughs> playing piano yeah, yeah what's Tilly. your name 
Oh, it's it's Victoria. But yeah. Everyone calls me Vicky. The fuck yeah. is wrong? With Pleasure you? to meet you, Vicky. Welcome to the bar. Uh, Our own place is mine. Uh, what can I give you or get you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what did you give him, Toby? Uh, I got good whiskey. Oh, I have the exact same that he's having then. All right. How much does that sell us back? Mm-hmm. Uh, for newcomers that I haven't met yet, I usually say it's on the house the first day, and someone's already paid the bar tab today, so it's on the house. Oh, oh come on, Tilly. I, I met you back in Amadillo when the, the saloon opened up. It's already you been paid for ass. by a very generous person today, so it's on the house. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, perfect, perfect. You don't remember me at all, do you? I, I don't. I don't. Savvy, she probably has a lot of newcomers here and there. She probably don't remember you. Shit, I could I'm, I'm embarrassed to say I don't. Uh, us? Yeah, yeah. Through uh, face with you? When would I? Have yeah, done? back I don't in throw... back in Armadillo. There was really? the uh, opening to the saloon there. Oh, the fist fight. You yeah, mean a yeah. fight you when we... Oh, maybe. Was that you? some serious ass. I uh, yeah, it might have been. I don't recall rightly exactly myself, to be honest. But I remember you. He's, a um, what is that? I don't oh, know. That was a while ago. What is what? There's not much in his head. I'm not sure what's going on in the bar here at this moment. The person playing your piano is talking about strangling cats. What? There, what? there, Tilly. Oh. Huh? Okay. Huh? Oh. Hang what? on. I was not. You Wade? said how you like to strangle them in no, the morning before you get song. up. It's a song. It's not me. It's, Who is it I composed it by? Uh, Mr. Edgar Wood Allen from Thank you, whoever, uh, Theater whoever that and came Folk from. Song Ministry. Ag it was Edgar me. Edgar Allen. Uh, thank you. Uh, Edgar thank you. Allen Poe. Let everybody no, no, have no. whatever they oh, want. No, not Edgar. Oh, thank that. you. That's another thank you. And you keep Allen. the rest. Ah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Crap, there's a lot of... Miles, you doing okay? You're quiet tonight. No, I'm doing fine. I'm just kind of listening to Wade here tell stories. Yeah, Wade is a <laughs> storyteller, all right. I am not. I, I'm just... I'm just being me. Just... Hey, Wade, why don't you tell us how you first met Miss Tilly? I already told you that uh -huh. story, and uh, I mean it's a it's a long one. And I I don't want to, you know, rip up some old. Well, oh, we can hear yeah, why don't you tell that story, two. Wade? I want to hear. I want to hear. I want to hear your okay. version of how that story went down. I would I love this. I was minding my own business <laughs> in a clothing store. Miss Tilly here just barged in, called me an idiot, and start start slapping me around. And I was like, I don't hurt women. I can't lay a hand on you. And she's like, I don't care. Come here, mister. I'm going to kill you out in the forest. She took me out and she put spells on me <laughs> and told me she would do voodoo on my close family personalia stuff. And I was like, please don't. And she, that, that's the story. You know, I don't remember oh. any of the voodoo stuff the last time you told that story. What? I remember you thought I, she I was never a man. Story okay, I now, would you like to hear, would you like to hear my version of how that went down? I would love to, Miss Tilly. So, <laughs> this is so I'm out in lie, I'm lie. out in tumbleweed, and I'm just you know doing my thing. I think I was doing a delivery down there, right? And I walk into the general store, and I'm standing in there, and there's some guy behind me calling me dude over and over again. That's not that's not how it went. Hold on, let her talk. So. I started to get kind of like, you know, question about it. Now, I'm not going to say I'm going to remember word for word exactly what he said, but I said that I made some comment to him about I'm not your dude and I'm not your buddy. And he referred to me as, in some level, I believe what he said was, you are not really a woman. You are a man disguised as a woman. Jesus, Wade. So it was something along those lines that led me to be believe that's what he was trying to say. So I that decided I decided that we were going to have a little fun. So I roped him up. And I was honestly I was going to just take him out and dump him in the desert somewhere. I'm not going to lie. I was going to I was going <laughs> to off the guy. I, he was irritating the piss out of me. So I, I roped him not. up and we took a little ride. But he just kept talking and talking and talking and talking and it was hot. That is not and I had him are. over my shoulder and I'm dragging him along. 
and he just he just kept going. He just that kept going. So I decided I that I was going to I was going to read his cards when we were out there. Oh. Whoa. Oh, wait. Whoa. That is your fault entirely. What? Entirely your fault. You did that. That's what's Magic. happening to my pet You bird. did that. It's it's, it's itching. Wait, You're, are you Russian? Yeah, he probably is. <laughs> Uh, well, we instanced, so let's see what errors we got. Execution of native script and host failed. Blah, blah, blah. Horses, horses, horses. Weird. Whoa. Shit. Uh, the server instanced, so I'm reloading the game. I was just waiting for it. Waiting for it? <clears throat> All right. No, they're not. They've that will been. last about 30 fucking seconds. All right. All right. Shit. Okay, so where were we? Yeah, she was force feeding me snakes. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, repeatedly hitting me in my nose. 
Oh, I never hit your nose, you silly boy. Oh man, where am I? I can't even find myself right now. hypothetically alluding to the fact that uh half woman half man all right yeah you were hypothetically alluding to it all right did you just say that he cleans up well does that mean that he normally looks like shit <laughs> no, I'm just used to seeing him in his very big fluffy coat. Hey, you look so good, Luke. I give you something? Well, well, thank thank you. you. I really appreciate it. All right. That. So anyway, so we had a little trip out to the desert, him and I, but he talked me to death. Are, uh, so eventually I let him go. Oh, just hanging out with everybody, you know, Ooh, being yeah, social. That was, that was the story. Yep. Yeah, but pretty much. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm so sorry. What did you say? But now it's we oh, all so I'm just uh, nice hanging out other. with everybody, being mm -hmm. social. Oh, uh, wait, you have a very special place in my no, heart, believe me. Likewise. You're always... But the thing is, you're always hissed up with somebody else. So I don't... Uh, what are you talking heart. about? Yes. Are you single now? Uh, I'm supposed to be with the circus guy, but I ain't seen him around for a while. Listen, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fetch you a bag of toenail clippings. Oh, don't... Gonna please, make, please don't do I'm that. Please don't do you. that. I'm gonna court you, you miss... Yeah, uh, yeah, good oh, luck with that. He's got a bad trap record. He's got like 13 dead ex-wives or some shit like that. Uh, they're not all dead. Uh, yeah. Oh, that is... <laughs> hey, Wes, four of them some survived. Of them that. That's the start. Work. Oh, four of them exactly. survived. So nine dead ex-wives. Uh, uh, I mean, my disguise would be that I'm uh, some I'm kind a victim of, of my circumstances. I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like you were out uh, in the desert, huh? I hear that one all day long. Sick. Well, whoever does end up uh, becoming Tilly's fancy, they'll be lucky. Sure is. What are you talking about? Are you serious right now? Yeah. Stop flattering that me. Was a it's it's making me very nervous and, and very, um, very, that very embarrassing. That was a smooth one. That was a smooth Fair one. Fair enough. When you get a second and you're ready to talk business, let me know. Listen, uh, I just drink coffee. Where were y'all when we did the, the blind day for Tilly? Y'all miss your shot. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> Oh, was she blindfolded? I, I actually bought the bar around, so don't worry about paying for it. Oh, you're such a Yeah, he man. did. He did. Hello, Miss Tilly. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. What can I get you to drink? The bar is uh, not really working that properly, so. Oh, it's not? Doesn't seem to be. We'll see if it does now. But uh, what would you like? Um, you know what? I'll do a wine if you have it. Mm -hmm. Do you have uh, a what? Indeed I do. I, I wouldn't have anything else. Red gives me headaches. Red gives me hot. Let's red see if you can grab flashes. that. Can you see that? I can, and I got it. Nice. Okay. Seems Thank to be okay you. now then. Good, good. I probably just need a little bit to yep. get kicked. Perfect. Now yep. I can buy you out a coffee again. You want some coffee? I've already got a cup right now, but I'll see you as soon as I get done with this one. All right. Well, hold on here. Let me just. Uh... There's a couple on the table for you there. Well, how much do I owe you? Nothing, because the tab has been paid by very generous people this evening. All righty. So help yourself. Thank you. I see. That's good. It seems to be working. Thank God. It was getting tiring putting everything out one at a time. I'm sure it was. But I'm glad it's working. Mm-hmm. That's mm. weird. There's a puppy trying to get into the bar. What? Let me take care of that. You know what? I can guarantee you there have been worse things than dog dogs that have walked into this bar in the past. Uh, like trying to get in, but it can't get through the door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to step into the back just for a moment. I need to grab a little something from the store. Does anybody need anything? Anybody, anybody? Just for two minutes. I'll be right back. I can wait. Alright. Uh, I uh, want to whisk some fish oil in it. Some what? 
Yeah, whiskey with fun. fish oil in it. So, Just a pinch uh, of fish oil. Oh, yeah, God. sure. Fuck? All right. Good to see you, Miss Cordelia. What's that? All right. Leg stretchy time. BRB. Let's go on a non-deputy douchebag walk. I kind of like that idea. You keep all your He's got shot to the right, just down the gutter. Whoa, yeah. that, that's really nice. Leaves you a little bit of freedom to do what you want, you know what I mean? That would be really nice. Yep, yep. Yeah, if you manage to get one, I would kindly like exactly. to work with that's you, Miss Wesley. Really steady job right now i'm just enjoying roaming around you know feed a couple foxes put a few dollars in my pocket you know yep less stress that way i'm fixing to buy the church when i can no i have, I have another outfit i wear for hunting whoa i've never i've never wear this out there What's the dog shop? You can buy dogs? How much do they cost? Oh, whoa, do they do so? Do they help you hunt or something? That would be nice if they could. Yep, yep. Yep, and have like a personal space inventory for keeping the goose and shit. Per se. Damn, how long is this storm going to take? What day even is it? Yep. I'm gonna try my luck with this. Oh, 
Hey guys, I'm gonna have to mute the stream for a minute. I got a phone call. I'll be just a minute.
All right, sorry about that, guys. Oh. All right. The shift is fine. Come in away from the door, please. I need to get the patient. I know you do, but they can bring the patient hey. to you. You running out there is just another body down. Hey, what's going on? What's take going cover. on? What's take going cover, on? Take cover, take cover. All right, all right, all right. Puppy. What's happening? God is this is one of the lunatics who axe murdered me last night. There's two of them. All right. A girl and a guy. Is that that name guy with the Timmy. pig mask? Yeah. Pig mask. Okay, I know yeah. who they are. Yeah, I know who they are. Yeah, well, last night I was tackled and an axe pounded in my Where did you think it was behind the my building? Ribs. That's why I'm not running around. I'm still coughing up blood from the situation. Come here, Mr. Right. Thingamma what? I'm not afraid of you. Oh! Oh, oh Mr. Mr. Lane. I swear uh, to God, Wade, if you shoot my wife, I will kill you dead. I will not kill your wife, mister. She's in safe hands. So where hey, are no, these where are these dumb son of a bitches? I don't know, but they've been running around. The deputies right, are out there yeah, trying to deal with them. Come with me. All right. Hey, listen, I've got a plan, okay? Do you want me to bring him in here? And we can Wade, tie him up? And you Wade, can no plans right now. He's Wade. right behind the saloon. You want me to bring him in? On the ground. They're going to slip on it. When they do, I'm going to be on them like a cat. Eat. I prefer right. if you use banana peels, I'm going to be Wade. taking these gun belts ah, real quick. That is a nice time plan. As well oh. as them nice little fire bombs you have. Take him inside when you're done. So Elena can patch him up. If you fucking shot, if you shot one of those crazy people, bring him to the fucking deputy's office, not here. <laughs> Baby, I want a gun. You don't have a gun. No, I don't. I don't. Pick up one. Oh, thanks. Somebody get a doctor. Somebody get on the roof over there. Oh, it's Luna too. Yes, I got both of them. There's somebody Lena. dead on the roof Maybe over by the bar, uh, rooms, bar, and restaurant. Mm -hmm. Get a doctor over there. Yeah, I'll they're get both a, I'll down. Get a, you can go. Just want a gun on me. Fuck sakes. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking psychopath. Sounds like we got them anyways. You guys are. Everybody all right? Yeah, we got a couple officers down, but I'll, we're taking these two to the, uh, uh... Where are the officers that are down? Do we need to bring them in? Elena They're, has them. Okay. Up, okay, go on the balcony, Elena. Jump on that, uh, little side thing right there. You see that ladder facing us? Oh, go up that ladder, and he's right there. Who's he? I don't know. We got an officer down. I saw him up there. Just get inside. I, can y'all get inside? Able to get him off the roof. The doctors and the cops can Here. do their fucking jobs. If you're not a doctor or a cop, just stay inside. Jesus. What is going on? Careful. You went outside, Wade. Careful on the roof there, Elena. Be careful. Got no choice unless you're going to treat him up there. Just, yeah. You got him? I was going to lower him down with a rope. Yeah, you probably uh, should just try lowering him down with a rope. That's what I did with these other two. All right. Yeah, lower him down with a rope. Just be careful up there, guys. All right, let's go get these two locked up in a cell. I got both their weapons. <laughs> I think the deputy might put a bullet in. <laughs> well, you know, I need to get some blankets <laughs> and stuff like that when we get to the sheriff's department. Probably, probably. Get some blankets, get some rags, stuff like that. that Nikki we and Toby, you introduced yourself to Tilly, right? Yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course we have. I yeah. met her a long time ago when the saloon and Amadillo opened. Uh, yeah, it was a while ago. Is this uh, normal, by the way, Tilly? Some guy going to, <laughs> to me and Well, I thought you knew me well bitch. enough to know by now what's normal and not normal. Why are you asking me? Of course yeah, it's not normal. Don't be silly. You are very normal, mister. No, I am far from normal. <laughs> get, I'll get out behind the ball. No, you're fine. You're fine. You are perfectly fine, my dear. Going crazy and stuff. Shooting. Oh. Jesus. Okay, can I have Just a, a second. Second. Your hand in marriage, Miss Tilly? 
<laughs> you can have a whiskey. Hey, can I have your foot in marriage? <laughs> Maybe a piece of your finger. Uh, no, I prefer to keep all Wait. my body parts intact. Wait. Still up there, Elena? You want How a mason jar? Old... Yeah. What's that? What? You want How a mason jar? Uh, mason jar? Yeah, free. What's what's a mason jar? Just let me just say. <laughs> Is that a jar made from a mason? Uh, no, it's what do uh... I owe you, Miss Kelly? I'm sorry, buddy. What? You know. How much money do you want for the week? Yes. None. Vicky and Tilly scream. Thank you, Miss Tilly. What? I'm not yelling anymore. Just want a whiskey. Ugh. Did you not get that one? Hold on here. Where did there you go, my dear. Go? Coming right up. No, thank you. You are oh, quite you welcome. Went. Tell me yeah, if you can. can you can see that. Well. Can I? Just tell me if you can see it, okay? Yeah, I got it. All right, good. Glad. Here comes one for you, Tobias. Oh, what? Thank you. Whoa! Thank you. Is this here illegal? There you go. No, of course not. Chill, I thought she was upstairs with your friend, I'm not gonna lie, so it's terrifying. Must have been on the roof, though. Are you terrified? I mean, for a moment, you know, I was like, I was kind of scared it's a ghost. <laughs> Is, is, every, is everything all right? I thought it was a ghost. Yes, Cordelia, you can come down. I was like, what the fuck is that? I have no idea. I was in being in a fucking warehouse room so... looking through my shit. I have no idea even what happened. Where did they take the uh, deputies? To the graveyard. We have, we have apprehended oh, them, yes? Yes, they are Yes, ma'am. Nobody's fucking normal anymore. Nobody's like, oh, I just want to rob somebody. It's always like, <laughs> fucking crazy psycho fucks. Oh, excuse me. Down the hedge. So, he was going tell me money. about yourself, guys. Vicky, Tobias, tell me about yourselves. How, oh, shit. How, how in the world did something happen and everyone's just like, meh? <laughs> well, we're not. What do you want us Fucking to do? Man. Well, I'm still I, wondering where the. I'm panicking. Uh, I'm panicking. Okay, hold on, because apparently <laughs> there's a problem somehow. Oh, lovely. What? What? What's going on? Am I? How am I supposed to react to a couple of shit bags getting shot down? Um, where's Elena at? Uh, she's taking care of uh, patients, I believe. Yeah, she was in, okay. she was out um, trying to get them off the roof, but we were being told to leave them alone and let them do their jobs. So I came in here and I'm leaving them alone and letting them do their jobs. They're doing it on the roof. Uh, she was trying to get one of the patients off the roof, oh, I Buck, believe. Oh, Buck, are you alright? Oh, okay. Buck, Buck, is she, did she get off the roof? Okay. She's still treating them up there. All right, is she up there? She's not by herself, right? Yeah, she is. She is. Well, maybe someone should stay with her. I can't. I got it. I got it. She on she on the same roof, Buck. That's the one. Yeah, right, All right. Up there. All right. I'll check on her. Do you have a coat? Yeah. Awful windy out here. Yeah, you need it. I know. <laughs> I left it in the bar, though. I'll get it in a second. I'm just going to be out here for a minute anyway. I just want to make sure she's all be right. Be careful. That thing's not icy. Yeah. Elena? She's not up here. She's not up here. Do you know where she went? Elena? I have no idea. She's... Buck said she was up there. Uh, she ain't up here. Ah, uh, shit. I'm coming down. We need to figure out where the hell she is. Make sure she's all right. Where would she have I taken them to treat them? Oh, sorry. I have Sheriff's no idea. Sheriff's office, maybe? Um, that's Let me grab my have... coat. Let me grab my coat. Let's go down there and make sure she got there okay. Because I don't see all if right. she's not on the roof. Tilly, can I have some water, please? If uh, you can. Do you have any water? Fuck, fuck, coughing up blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you, got you. Here. Please. 
Hey, hey, Fuck, it's here. clearly not fun. Put this fish oil in your mouth. Here we go. Here we go. Here's some water. Oh, this fish oil, mister. I need to go find Elena. She's not oh, on the roof. Fine, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to run down to the sheriff's Thank office. You. There's some water for you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be right back. Just take care of Buck. Did you want some help, Miss Tiller? Excuse me. Um, you can follow me down. I just want to make sure I find Elena. She was on the roof and she's not all there. Right. I just want to make sure she's all right. She what probably, does Elena look like? She probably, silver hair. She probably went to the fucking uh, sheriff's office with the patients. I just want to make sure. All right. Uh, <clears throat> not quite sure what's happening right now. No, that was a thing to come into, wasn't it? Indeed, it was. I have no idea what the fuck that was. In between, Buford saying we're not doing. We're doing too much, and the other one's saying we're doing too little. I'm trying to figure out if I should be scratching my ass or what. <laughs> I, I heard her. She's, she's in, there. in there. Okay. Yeah. She's in there. All right. Good. Good. I just want to make sure she was all right. All right. Well, back to the bar then. Uh, all right. Thanks for walking with me. No, it's fine. Don't want you to be walking alone. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you guys were right behind me, and I went through the alley. Ah, uh, it's no worries. No worries. Are you fine? You got a bottle stuck to your hand there, darling. No. Oh, shit. There you go. Where the hell is Buck? Where is Buck? There he is. Are you all right there? Uh, Buck, are you yeah, okay? I'm, I'm fine. Coughing up blood ain't all right. Yeah, you, trust me. Like Dorothy looked him. at me and... We don't know what it is yet. I'm just dealing with it. And to be honest, she's assessed all my injuries. There's no real reason for it right now, so... There's always a reason for it if you're coughing up blood. I know, but they've checked everything they could. I haven't seen Rosie, and I'm supposed to check in with her, but I haven't seen her yet, so I haven't had a moment to speak with her on the matter. Apparently, that's something that she may know more about. Yeah. Well, you make sure you do that, and you rest, okay? Because, you know, you're bleeding like um, that, you can bleed out. Mm -hmm. I know. It's not, it's not a constant thing. It doesn't matter. A little bit at a time is more dangerous than you think. If I'm not mistaken, usually coughing up blood means there's some eternal bleeding going on, Buck. Yeah, I understand. And, and there's no small or, you know, large amount that's good or, you know, it's bad no matter what, no matter the amount. I'm just going to get you as looked the, at. Look any you. of the doctors, I hate to say it, but open you back up to take a look at you? Or is it more just an outside assessment? Well, I was pretty opened up when the hatchet was in my chest and my ribs I were know, separated and broken. Yeah, Lame but after that, that we're still bleeding. Has anyone I, looked at it yeah. since? No. All right, yeah. So, mm -hmm. all right, I'm going to send uh, Tilly. I'll be right back. I'm going to go send a telegram just so mm -hmm. that way maybe we can schedule something. Yeah. Miles, you doing all right? You got to take care of yourself. I'm fine, Miss Cordelia. I am, Tilly, and I've been taking it real easy. Real I easy. I know. I don't want anything to happen to you. I know. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I promise. I'm not acting wild. I know. I know. But you know as well as I do, we don't have to do anything to be the victims, you know? Yeah, I yeah. just don't want anything Christ, to happen you to you. With your fucking hat off. <laughs> you mean the world to me. And I just want you, you to be careful, guy. okay? Just be careful. Timmy? Elena's all right. She's in the sheriff's yes. office with the Yeah, with they're the both patients. in uh, jail cells over there. Okay, good. Go back. The cold weather just doesn't Oh, help you want to go look at no. them when they don't talk? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Dorothy prescribed me some pain pills that I've been on talk? because whenever I breathe in real deep, especially when it's cold, it feels like fire. It burns my lungs. It's like inhaling a lit match. I accidentally broke a chair. Well, they need to look at it again if you're still coughing oh, up. Oh, okay. Stop the bullet with my head. You're good. 
You stopped a bullet with your head. Just, just take yep. care of yourself. Uh, I think it just got you in okay? the hat, didn't it? Not a lot. No, it's, it's kind of a misty spurt. Temple a little bit didn't do much. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I don't know much good. about medicine, yeah. but I just know that I don't Still want anything to happen. Still might want to told me it could be just yeah, I'm good. residual. Yeah. Blood stuck in my lungs it. still that I'm just passing. I'm a That's all. Soldier. Yeah. I don't let little wounds bother me. Oh. All right. Well, that just cold finally. just take it easy and don't go running around. If you need anything, you know we're here for you. Okay. I know. I know. You also know how stubborn I am, so this is difficult for me, and I'm trying, but sometimes oh, I forget. I know. And then that's when I'm short. You know what? What's that? You know, pot, pot, pot me kettle. You know what I'm saying? I get you. Yeah. I get you. I get you. Don't worry about that. I think we get each other perfectly well. I'll just got my uh, pit box on my head. Just know I'm here for you if you need me. Okay. Thank you, Tilly. Yeah. Got your and, pet uh, fox on your head. She's all right. So yep. you don't have to worry about her. She's fine. His name is Mr. Skeever. Mr. Skeever? Yep. He was the first pet I ever had, but he uh, ended up dying in an unfortunate strangling accident. Allegedly. Allegedly? Yep. Yeah. Hey. Everything cooled down. Right? Huh? Are you doing all right? Mm hmm Yeah. I'm doing good. Thank you. How are you doing? <laughs> good. It's, it seems a little frustrating. Maybe you should have a drink. Yeah, I probably should. Hey, look, it comes with a free cup of coffee afterwards. Hey. Wesley? Hey. Is that Bailey Glenn? Mm -hmm. What's that? Is Where's uh Owen? They all got killed. The two of them escaped. No. No. I, Elena. I shot and killed both of them. Elena? Yes, sorry. You doing okay? Yeah, um, they, they passed. Yeah, they Who passed? Uh, Luna and Timmy, they, they, they did. They didn't mm. make it. Uh, I'd like to say that's a shame, but, you know, what, uh, what can I get for you? You need a drink or anything? You want a cup um, of coffee to warm up? That Timmy guy um, no, I don't have time, sorry, I have another informant. All right, be careful. Jeez. Really, they died. Yep. Shit. Yeah, that was uh, unexpected. I'm not gonna lie. Hi there. All... Is that Bruce? Uh, it's, it's Bruce. Hey, Bruce. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine. All I right. got coffee. All right, excellent. Is that wait? You kill two people and then just drink coffee afterwards? <laughs> that Helps calm his it? nerves. <laughs> what the fuck? Just Whoa. clearing off some bottles that were stuck to my counter. Sorry about that. Hey, Tilly. Yeah. That's not the. For future reference, that works better when you say, hey, there's some bottles. I'm just going to clear them <laughs> off. Heads up, everyone. How Sorry can I say that. this? Uh, hey, uh, Jesus Christ. This would just fucking <laughs> scare me, to be honest. Maybe How can I say this? this? Uh, Buford, they, uh, they terrorized. Number one, they terrorized Valentine yesterday for many hours. Number two, Timmy <clears> stabbed <throat> and slashed up Owen, and uh, I pulled shot him out of the me. bank. Shot him. They've done multiple things to innocent Hello. people. So yes, by saying that I'm fine with you. killing somebody, or I would say no. Yeah, but am I fine and with them not being around yes, anymore? Are you able Absolutely. to accompany Mr. Lena or Dr. Dr. Lena now to... Um, Take a I call just, that's up near Bracket oh. Station. Yeah, I can. I remember that. the first time uh, that I actually yeah, I think she's just outside now, but I just don't want her to go alone in the in the. Well, that's not my actual it. time. First okay, time yeah, I'll do that. Someone, so. You're amazing. Thank you oh, okay. so much. I thought it was your first time. No problem. Oh. Bracket Station, really? 
Yeah, we think it's wolves. I just don't want her to go out there alone. No, she shouldn't. She shouldn't. And also, it's a blizzard outside. Yeah, no so, shit. well, actually, you know what you'll do? Just Probably should have uh, taken here. a whole posse out there to make sure they were okay, to be honest with you. Between the wolves here. and the weather, it's going to be shit for them. Here, uh, Jesus Christ. You know what would be nice down here, right where this piano is? Just a big fireplace. Oh, 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 oh shit. The where would you put the piano? Oh, hi there. Am I, waking up here? I don't piano know. Hello. <laughs> hi. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I don't even get that reaction. <laughs> I haven't seen her in forever. I see you all the time, Tilly. Yeah, I know. I know. Are you alright? Take that as a no. There you uh, are. Well, get your ass out here and thing. grab a glass, so what huh? You had on? We need a doctor. Huh? What was that coat you had on? That was, just the that was my coat. Why? Do you want it? Yeah, wait. Put it back on. Why is there an unconscious oh, guy on, on the table well, in my bar? Off, and why well, is he I unconscious? Because he just got his ass beat outside. By what? Wade. By a local? local? Well, you know, our doctors are running out to back his station right now. He's probably going to have to just... No. Oh, All right. Oh, Lord. Here she is. What's going on? It's just Wade being a dipshit. Oh, Elena, my God. Yeah, don't worry about it. He's just, he's just taking a nap. You don't think that that jacket looks good? I, I mean, it looks fine. It's just my coat. Where is he? I don't know. It looks he's on, on the table. table. You don't see him? Well, of course, right, how about the, oh, he's under me. the table for me. That's all right. Oh, oh. I can how move about... him if you need me to. Oh, he shit himself. And he has, he's on the table and he shit himself. How Whoops. about we have someone go to Bracket Station and take and see if they can perhaps find the, the individual that's yeah. harmed up there and bring, try you to know, see if they can move him here. Let's go. By the time Come I on. get there, he'll have probably let's taken go. out. They'll probably have taken let's out a go. local. Let's go. Just... Come on. What are you, lazy? Come on. Probably a wolf. No? Who, anybody else want to go with me? I don't want to go. Who wants to go with me? All right, let's go, Bruce. Let's go. I'll go. You stay here. No, I'll go with you. I need a little adventure. Well, just so you know, I'm not a deputy anymore. You're not? No. Why not? What? Why did you get fired? I shot a dog. Why did you shoot a dog? Because it was attacking people. Well, then why would you get fired for that? Uh, I asked. I tried to ask Owen that same question. All right, let's go. Let's go. You know All where right, Bacchus Station is, right? Uh, hey, NW. It? It's way up by the Wapiti Reservation. It's quite a far away. Uh, let me see if I can't find Mama's paper map here. I mean, honestly, it's so far away that we're probably not going to make it. Whoa, why is that guy riding backwards? Holy fuck, do you see that or is that just me? That's just you there. <laughs> oh, that looks weird. <laughs> All right, let's go. This blizzard is something else. It really is. It really is. You sure you're going to be all right out here? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just more all concerned right. about you losing your job. Oh, no, it's fine. Um, Doesn't feel fine. Well, no, I promise you, the door closes, another door opens always. And after all, since uh, right now I'm working for uh, the marshal as a uh, bounty hunter, that's another bounty I just collected. Either way, uh, as it stands, uh, I tried to ask uh, the sheriff if I could, you know, argue my case on me being fired, and he told me no. There was no point in me trying to argue it at this time. Because essentially what, what, what sheriff was this? Sheriff Owen, the one that hired me. Huh. Essentially what happened, we were up in Valentine dealing with Valentine things, of course. PC. And, uh... It finally started to calm down, and we had a uh, little pup showed up, you know, just, well, it wasn't a pup, it was a full-grown dog, but 
They started. Oh shit! Wolves, wolves! 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 You're riding right into them. All right, it looks like they're busy with the pigs. Let me get my gun out. We gonna sidestep them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no worries. Do what you need to do. Anyways, but uh, we were uh, up there hanging out, just kind of cutting the shit, I guess you could say. And uh, dog came up, was real nice, polite to everybody at first, and then turned around and uh, started attacking the locals. None of the other deputies were doing anything about it. Uh, sheriff wasn't doing anything about it, so I mean, I'm gonna let it go. Well, I had a muscle spasm and my revolver came out of my holster for a split second and I put it back away. And uh, the dog started attacking me. Well, I ran away from it, ran down the street away from it, and uh, ran back up, jumped on that cart, you know, in Valentine. That's and why the fuck was a dog attacking you? And why would you not be allowed to put it down if it was attacking you? I don't understand. Uh, just wait. So, uh, Andy... Uh, was there and she saw me running around town with my shotgun out and you know how I usually hold my shotgun in my hand and the coffee cup in the other yeah well I was doing that but I didn't have a coffee cup and she uh, she said would you quit running around town with your shotgun in your hand and uh, well as I was about to put it away I turned around and saw the dog attacking a horse that was tied down over by the bank in Valentine and I said, I will. Just give me one second. Hold on. No. Go. F Run. Oh, shit. I'm going to try. Get on a rock. Fuck. Get off of me. Fuck. Fuck. Run off. I'm on a rock. Get on a rock. Get on a rock. Get on a rock if you're not on a rock. We're fine. Oh my okay? god. No, I'm not really. Not right. Hold on. There was somebody out here. They were attacking someone. Where did the, where was that at? It was up here, wasn't it? They were attacking someone. Hello. Is there you someone out here? Snap a branch. Fuck. Where is, uh, there is someone out here. There's, I saw them attacking someone. Help them. Hold on. Wait, there, where? There's someone down here. I cannot find them. Yeah, we I got can't attacked find them by either. wolves. There's, but Smell they were boy. attacking someone. Over here, over here. What's this? Here, 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 here. Here it is. Here it is. Oh. Fuck. It's Andy. Hold on. Andy. Christ. You need to move Let me this move horse. the horse. Let me move. I the got horse. her. I got her. Get the horse out of the way. I got her. Just, oh, just, yeah. Fuck. I am like, just, if I get one fucking person breeze on me wrong, I'm going down this fucking just, wolves. Just then Elena can treat pop, you quick. I, I, I'm I, getting I, her on I the horse. Ribs. There you go. Get her safe, please. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Just, I got the, I got um, some bandages on to, it. Just I take her. Go. see what she's got first. I got to get back to town for a second. Take her horse. Uh, he's got her horse. I'll bring my own. I got mine. Well, whose horse is this? Uh, my horse is she injured. What the fuck? Breathing. I don't know whose horse it is. That's mine. Take that Helena's one. horse. All right. He's checking her pulse and breathing. Oh. Yeah. Because. I'll give her a oh. ride back. Okay. Don't come ahead. All right. Um. Tilly, why don't you take her horse? Oh, I've got another. I've got another call in Valentine. She's got another call in Valentine. Jesus she's Christ. got a bump on the head. So you go with her she, on that. The local. All right. You take. The local take, uh, No, no, no. Take take uh, Andy's horse, and take her back to Blackwater. All right. Or wherever you want to take her, she'll be all right. You're going to Blackwater anyways. Right. So we'll continue to Valentine. All right. Yep. I'll ride with them to I don't make know sure how they to don't get, to get tore up by wolves.
Now I got you. Fuck this weather. God damn it, I can't see anything. How do we get out of here? I just want to get home. Did you back up? I swear to God, horse, if you take me through deep water, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Hang in there, Andy. I got you. What do you get yourself into this? What are you doing out here in this weather anyway? Got you, baby. Hang on. Okay, let's see. Let's see the bar. The bar. The bar. So fucking cold. Hold on. Hold on. We're almost there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. God, it's so fucking cold. Ooh, I got you. Jesus Christ. No. What the fuck? Hey, you you don't need him. We get to Andy. Andy. Yes, it's Andy. I need some. I need to get What's her warm. What happened to Andy? Wolves. Know. Wolves? They almost got us too. I just need to get her upstairs and get her warmed up. Oh fuck! She was the one. I there was another calling Valentine. Elena had to run off. Oh, she was the one. I... Wait, Elena ran off. Well, she went off to, with. They're they're going to Valentine for another. Elena has There's someone. The doctor with her skills. No, she's. God, she's doing her job. Wesley, can you go upstairs and make sure that she's all right? I got you. Let's get you on the bed here. Ah, if I can. Here. All right, let me just take a look at you here. I can't do much. Uh, I'm not a doctor, but I can put some bandages the on there. Stop the bleeding for me. Let's try and get her coat off. It's getting, proving to be a little difficult. <laughs> I just need to get some bandages on her until Elena can come and treat her. 
Can you hear me okay, Wesley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know shit about medical things, but if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Okay. I don't know okay. shit about medical either, but we can put bandages on to stop the bleeding until yeah, it really definitely. gets back. So just, just look in to see if I can find the wounds. She was out in the cold for a while. Is she cold? Yeah, I put my coat on her when I rode okay, her back here. Second. She's doing the best I can. I got the fire stoked. I'm trying to get her warmed up in here, but we need to find the injuries first. Okay, that's it. Just if you got any clean rags or anything and you see any bleeding, just hold pressure on the bleeding until the doctor gets back. Do you have, like, towels or something? Um, okay. All right. I'll have the local doctor send her back here when she's done. For a, I don't know. Is rest. that how you cure hypothermia? You know what we'll do? We can get a warm bath going. Oh. You think that, you think that's a good idea? Go bring those towels upstairs. Uh, Don't worry about A local doctor came and grabbed it. We need to. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Tilly, you alright? Hey, Tobias. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Okay. If you got a bath, I'm doing right. just making sure. Making sure you're alright. Mm -hmm. Where's she, where she at? Let's go. Come on. You got a bath going for me, B? No, not for you, you fucking degenerate. Don't go back there. I'll beat the. Don't go back there. Hey. Don't local go back there, dummy. There. A local doctor came and got her. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. No, what? I What's the matter? No, you want this. I said there was a bath downstairs, a warm bath. There? I thought maybe yeah, you could warm her no, up. Yeah, no, I told the local, uh, I told the local yeah, doctor yeah, yeah. to what, so what send her back here when she's uh, done being treated. Okay. Uh, they open fire at all someone that was up on the rooftop. I guess it's good that you went up there, huh? We didn't even get that far. Uh, I just yeah, about got down, down by a wolf myself. I, I got a quick there. touch up from Elena, but I think uh, I might need some stitches, but I'll deal with it later. Jimmy still had his pistol oh, out. Uh, hey, hey come in here. You better act. You need to get, warm, come over by the fire. Come by no, the fire. No, there's a really warm bath downstairs. Just go get in that. Oh, bath. Tessa and me had a, and Jack got a warm bath going. Go downstairs and get in that. Well, I mean, she might bury it by the fire at this oh, point. Man, the doctor treated her. If me and Tessa got into that bath, we would have get out for a while. That's, I didn't tell you to fucking. <laughs> well, I, I reckon oh, you're right, apologies. but that really wasn't the point, I don't think. I think I heard what I wanted to hear. I was yeah, that's sure. definitely what you did. That's what you do most of the time. Hey, <clears throat> Tilly. <clears throat> Are you alright? Huh? Yeah. We're both from the uh, Wolves got scared by the wolves and around the end of the tree. Yeah, you scared me a little bit there. Right. It's okay. Not your fault. What's going on with you? Oh, nope. not me. I've been getting launched out of this into your why am wood. I, why am I hearing from Buck that you're leaving? Sorry, chat. Um. Uh, actually, that means they have collected two batteries. Because I was... Did he tell you why? Just that your brother had, been, had sent you a telegram. But I, I don't know why. Him. I haven't seen him in 10 years. And, you know, I've been encouraged by people to send him a telegram. And I did. And I got one back. And he wants me to come back to Carson City and meet his family. I've been sitting Where on that telegram for about a week. And, uh, 
What am I supposed to do without you? No, oh, you're fine without me. I mean, no, no, not really. You're here in Blackwater with. And you eat nothing has been fine for a long for time. What do I have going for me? I'm a bartender that no one respects, really. I just get batted on the head, told to do my job. It's not been fine for a long time, I think you know this. Is that why you took your trip? Yes. I should have stayed away. I don't know. Sorry. It's just a blow. I care about you. I care about a lot of people here. Um, I just... I feel like I've let myself and a lot of people down. I just... I'm not deaf. People talk. Yes. They sick for a while and... They talk out their asses, every one of them. They mouth off. They don't think about the consequences of their words. Only the consequences of bullets. That's what they're concerned about. You didn't let me down. Just so you know. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm sure, um, I mean, nothing's finalized yet. I'm just, you know, buttoning up some things. Got to get Percy back from Weaver and um, talk to my deputies and the marshal and, you know, get all that sort of squared away. So, I don't. I just don't know how long we'll be gone, and yeah, so no point keeping the position if I don't know if I'm going to be back, you know, people deserve a, deserve a sheriff that's going to be around. Don't you think that this this is way hotter like this than with no shirt? On? You're probably uh, one of the most real friends I had. So what? Are, oh wow! I'm showing off to all these men. Like, ooh yeah, Dorothy's gonna be so upset. Did you just say you your dick goes boing? What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Oh, I miss you. <laughs> Go fuck. Uh, I wish you didn't have to go. Oh, that's right, right, right there. My brother is very important to me. I understand. I understand. I just wish you didn't have to be this way. <sighs> I mean, I wouldn't be where I am without you. <laughs> I am nowhere. Doesn't Miles without his hat look like a blonde I really Ryan? I don't know why you give me He's so much credit. He's a blonde Ryan. Well, I wouldn't have become a deputy again if it weren't for you. I wouldn't have stayed in Blackwater. Miles. I wouldn't have. <laughs> Wait, I know we've had our differences, Bruce, and has Bruce claimed multiple bounties in a couple but, days stretch? I mean. As a good boy. You've been and there for me. And as a wait, good you've done boy. It. I don't think I've been there for you. Yeah, it is. You have. What? You have. Wait, Bruce. Is, I just Bruce don't. Is a dog outside. You want me to I don't shoot it? know what's going to be left here anymore for me. I'm a little bit at a time. Things are just. As a good boy. Changing for me. Sometimes you. You have a place. And sometimes you know your place. I don't... I 
don't feel that. Do you have family? I feel like I'm a piece of furniture. I don't mean to be disrespectful, partner, but whoever just walked into the bar looks like you got the biggest stick up your ass. Like, holy <laughs> shit. Your hairline's so far receded, partner, I could cross the Atlantic Ocean on it, partner. Forehead's so big. They call you Mega oh, Mod every time you walk in the bar, like, God damn, it's partner. I know that Valentine will be alright without me. And it doesn't mean that I'll never be back. You know, it just means that I'm probably gonna be gone for a little bit. Uh, Jack and Tessa? But I'm only a telegram away. The next time Dor Dorothy told me the next time that I see both yeah. of you that she misses both of you. Because she has a fucking kid. Hope you take care of yourself. Always. She doesn't hate you guys. She loves you guys. I just hope the place is better for it. We've got some good people in Valentine. It was better with you, but you know. They will find their way. They will find their way. They will find their way. I know they will. I hear what you're saying. I'm sorry. I'm being a bit selfish. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to ask the conversation be dropped. It's kind of quite ridiculous that we continue to bring it up. I don't care. Um, I need to go someplace and think for a while. Are you going to be around? Um, yeah, for a bit. How long do I have? Uh, two hours? Maybe All right. three? Alright. Yeah. Hey, it's not like I'm dying or anything, alright? Just. It's not just I'm you. It's not just you. It's not just you. I know you're not dying, but uh, sometimes things just change, and they change in ways that uh, maybe just, it's like a puzzle, you know, sometimes you fit, sometimes you don't. And you have family, don't you? Who? That old lady? Gizzy? Yeah, I haven't seen her lately. She kind of keeps me grounded. From what I've heard about her, I, I think it would be the opposite, but... <laughs> uh, no. She keeps me grounded. She makes me laugh. And I know she loves me. No matter what, no matter how many dumb things I do, or how much shit I get into, she never blames me. She never looks at me and says, you should have done it this way, or you should have done it that way. She never tells me that I'm too loud. She never tells me that I'm... that I'm the reason that I got my ass kicked over and over again. She never, ever blamed me ever for one thing I ever did. She just, she was my friend. And she still is, and she always will be. That's the difference. She listened. She listened. It's been a long time, you know, trying to figure myself Vicky. out. Figure out what I wanted for myself. Vicky! And, uh... I just... I'm not finding it. Yeah. 
but I find it in people like you and Kezi. People I know that no matter what have my don't back. Yeah, don't get a dumbass hat like Jax, okay? Buck, even. As Mommy much as we've had our differences back since so he got married. The fucking continent on your forehead. As much as we've had our differences, he's still there for me, and he always has been. You know? There's just few and far between, it feels like, that know me that way. That have bothered to know me that way. I don't know. Please. <laughs> I just will miss you, okay? I just don't know what to do anymore. But I understand why you gotta do it, you know? Your forehead is so big, it's like your entire face is on your chin. I understand. I would do the same. Well, I should probably be getting back to Valentine's. Extra mattress as a pillow. Yeah. I'm going to uh, go out for a bit. I have a place to visit. I need to do some thinking. <laughs> I'll uh, come back to Valentine and say goodbye Ooh. one last time. It'll I'm still be a while before I get everything buttoned up. I'll be sure to tell you before I leave. All right. <laughs> I'll see you in a while then. Yeah. Okay. That's funny when you pulled out a gun and shot everybody. And shot everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, come down here so I get shot before you. Nope. Show oh, is Andy okay? <laughs> yeah, she's good. Is Andy okay? Yeah, she's all right. Is Andy yeah. okay? Yeah, she's all right. She's all right. Sorry, I was whispering. No, you're okay. Does she need a cup of coffee? Uh, I think she's fine. She's coming down. Oh, okay, good. When the pilgrims claim came over, did they land on your head? <laughs> Like I don't know. Uh, go ahead and entertain those pilgrims. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll be back. Wait, where are you going now? Uh, well, I just uh, just some personal things to take care of. Like what? Personal things to take care of. I'll be fine. Personal things, so I'll like be back. None of your business things. No, that's not what Tilly, I mean. Tilly, Tilly, Tilly. Yes. You okay, Andy? Yes. Your forehead is so big, it gets home for you, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's very good. Very good. Get it. Nice. Nice. All right. Be safe. Are you heading, are you heading to bed, Tilly? No, I'm... Uh, I'm just taking a ride to somewhere special. Okay, please be safe. Yep.
it is, as it is, how the world is, the mist, means that every heart and soul needs to be whole, and the road signs keep changing as the road stretches out ahead, and this is where it began, and the moon keeps on changing, where I thought, I 
that I knew the best about everything. I thought I knew what was right and what was wrong. I thought I could judge. A stupid girl. Just a stupid girl. But I had dreams and I had hopes and I had feelings and it began here, it began on this rock, staring down, trying to come to grips with my future, trying to come to grips with who I am and what I was meant to be. I am meant to be Tilly Demeter. I am a gypsy, a wanderer. I will love you like no other. If you love me back, and I will hate you with a fury. Should you hurt me or my friends? It's who I am. Everything about me is on fire all the time. It will always be that way. It will always be that way. Because it's me. Because it's me. There are people that have come and gone in my life. There are people that will come and go all the time, aren't there? This place is harsh. It's cold. And I'm not just talking about the weather. It is a lonely place where we all try to find where we fit. And the cold, hard truth of it is, is that sometimes, sometimes we just don't. You take me as I am, or do you let me go? But do not expect me to be any different. Or follow your rules. It's my world too. And I'm just trying to make my way in it like everybody else. And today I gotta do that with one last friend and fuck you, universe. Fuck you, universe, for it. Fuck you for just taking away one more person who meant the world to me. Fuck you. You are a fucking cold mistress, you know then, you bitch. You can't have her. You can't fucking have her. Because she'll always be in my heart, but I fucking hate you for taking her away from me. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? To Joseph, 
you narcissistic, egotistical bastard who started me on a journey of destruction that nearly took my life and destroyed the people around me. Fuck you. To my kidnappers, to the people who threw me off bridges, fuck you. To the people who continue to torment, hurt, fuck you. To the people who have no heart, fuck you. To the people who have forgotten who they are, wake the fuck up. You hear that, universe? I don't fucking care anymore. Tired of pretending to be something I am not. I'm tired. I'm tired. I just want to be free. I want to laugh. I want to smile. I want to love. And fuck you. Fuck you for interfering in that. Whatever your grand fucking plans are. Fuck you. back to the beginning? Hell no. The beginning was shit when it led me to where I am. I'm not really proud of that. I'm not really proud of it at all. So, universe, let's have a little competition, you and I, huh? Now for the numbers. Let's see here. Nine. For the number of letters in the name Andromeda. To honor her friendship. Four. the number of letters in the only other person who ever really understood who I wanted to be. Buck. Twenty-eight for the number of years I've been alive. And lastly, the number six for the future. For the future. Let's see what you got, universe, huh?
the first card. What do we have? Huh? Three of Cups reversed. The Four of Cups upright. The Two of Swords upright. And the Five of Wands reversed. So, what's your fucking message today, universe, huh? What is it? What is it? Let's see. Three of Cups. Reversed is about independence. Alone time. More specifically, let's see what you're trying to say to me. It's a card of friendship and social, social events. But in the reversal of it, it suggests that I really want to be alone right now. Perhaps I am no longer clicking with some of my friends and I'm ready to move on. Or perhaps I just feel excluded from other circles and feeling isolated, alone. I am to honor my desire to step out for a while, rediscover myself, and be clear on who I want to connect with in my life. Now is the time to be independent Your creativity, my creativity, is being stifled. Or, I'm being asked to conform. I may be a part of a tight-knit club that does things a certain way and is not open to innovation or alternative approaches. And I need to consider whether I am willing to sacrifice myself in, in favor of the desires of the group. If I have been having stress or feeling overwhelmed, the reversed Three of Cups is a message to take time off to recuperate, to find the ones around you who support you before returning to reality. I have lost connection with them and it is time to reconnect, find their love, find their support. The Three of Cups also may signify that it is unlikely that a situation is sustainable because something has to give. The Four of Cups upright is about meditation, contemplation, apathy, and reevaluation. So, what are you telling me, universe? Let's see here. You're saying new invitations and opportunities are coming my way, but I'm saying no and I'm turning them away. Perhaps they don't interest me, or perhaps it's just because my cup is full. That this time is a time I need to decide what is truly important to me, and not be afraid to decline projects that don't align with my path. The Four of Cups indicates a time when I am turning my attention and my energy internally trying to understand this new phase of my life. Well, no shit, really, universe. Thank you for that. You are creating space within yourself so that you are ready to accept these opportunities, ready to give them the best possibility of success. You are reflecting, grounding, and contemplating before you make your next move. Uh, no shit, really. 
Yeah, you're a smart one, universe. The Four of Cups can appear when you are bored or dissatisfied with your life. You feel disengaged, apathetic, unmotivated. Life has become dull. You are disconnected. And you really need to reestablish a connection to get a greater sense of purpose and direction. The Four of Cups may show that you have shut yourself off from new opportunities because you have been hurt or rejected before. The man in his card, his arms are crossed as if he protects himself, as if he's closed himself off from the eternal world. You may have had a relationship end in heartbreak or experienced failure, and now you just want to avoid being there again. The third card, the Two of Swords, upright. This card is about difficult decisions, weighing options, an impasse and avoidance. What it means to me is I am facing a decision and I am unclear about which option to take. Both possibilities seem good or bad equally and I don't know which is going to lead to the best outcome. I must use my head and my heart to choose the path that is right for me. The woman in this card, she wears a blindfold. She can't see the entirety of her circumstances. And that may be the case with me as well. I could be missing something. But once I remove the blindfold and see the situation for what it is, I will be in a much better position to understand what my best path forward is, to ask myself what is missing. It is also possible that the Two of Swords chose the blindfold to avoid having to choose. Am I trying to hide from a challenging situation or an impending decision? Am I avoiding it, hoping that if I ignore it long enough, I won't need to worry about it? But it's not going to fix itself. And the longer I wait, the longer I prolong my present circumstances. This card reflects indecision and an impasse on a very important matter. And I can only put it off for so long. And at some point, I have to make a move. Life's decisions are difficult and they rarely come with answers. The invitation is to make choices with best intentions, fully aware of consequences. But avoiding it will lead to greater conflict, greater stagnation. And finally, the final card, the Five of Wands reversed. It is about inner conflict, conflict avoidance and tension release. This card suggests I am facing internal conflict and I am unclear where I stand on things. I'm trying to work through them, but I can't find my footing. There are others around me who have strong viewpoints about what you should do what I shouldn't do. And it's creating an enormous amount of disagreement. And just when you think you have it clear in your head that you understand it, someone challenges you on it. And you must change your view again.
the Five of Wands reversed suggests that you tend to avoid conflict wherever you can and go with the program go with the show just go with what's put in front of you to make it easier than fighting tooth and nail for what you believe in I'm avoiding anything that makes me feel uneasy and I wish it would just go away But the problem is, is the five of one says that's pushing my concerns to the side without dealing with them or asserting my own point of view. You see, conflict can be useful, particularly if it is constructive in a way that generates a better solution. But am I avoiding this discomfort and causing this compromise on what is important to me. The Five of Wands is a sigh of relief after a struggle. I am no longer up against as much competition. And if I choose to do so, I can just be. I have worked through the anger the hostility and I am more secure in myself and I don't feel that I have to prove myself anymore well universe I'd say you nailed that one on the head pretty much but when have you ever failed to not be a dickhead New beginnings, new endings, who gives a shit? I am Tilly. I am a gypsy. I like to dance. I like to read cards. But most of all, I like to love. To a fault. I just like to love. So fuck you, universe. Fuck you for taking away my friend. Fuck you. I fucking miss you, Andy. I'll miss you. Two ships passing in the night on the stormy sea. But fuck you for leaving. I love you, but fuck you for leaving. Catch your navigation lights pointing right at me. From the dead of the night, far away from land. Searching for a harbor or a quiet strand. You could be the anchor that keeps my feet. Where are those fucking wolves?
Passing in the night on the stormy sea. God, I hate goodbyes. Fuck.
She would be back here eventually before she goes. We just wait here. All right, just stepping away for just a minute. Go stretch your legs. I'll be right back. Hey, sorry, I want hey. to get, check my temperature. Sorry, let me shut that door so it doesn't get cold in here. You get done what you needed to? For the most part, I still talk to my deputies and. Well, would like to talk to Weaver. I did get Percy back through back, but still want to, you know, thank face to face. And say proper goodbyes to everyone. I'm having a hard time with this one. Ah, it's all right. Um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not dying. I'm gonna be away for a little. I just heard today that you're doing well in Blackwater. Doing well, how? Well, when I said that's when people usually come around because you bring him in. So, you know, doing what you always do. I'm going to go sit in the bar for a while. Uh, just say goodbye before you go, please. That's not going to be for probably a couple of days. Okay. So, then I'll go sit in the bar, and then I will drink myself silly and go to bed. Just uh, <laughs> don't say goodbye. Well, you can't drink yourself silly on without saying goodbye. No. Well, you don't have to get that serious about it. <laughs> I must say goodbye,
But I am perfectly content sitting in the rain now. Thank you. Sure, sure I will. I will. <laughs> oh, these fuckers are so Cross rude. The cheats. Mm. Uh, we all sell ourselves one way or the other, don't we? I suppose. What's wrong? What's the matter? What are you doing? Not a good time to be drunk. What the fuck is that? Well, I guess he's all right. <laughs> who, who is it? Did what you, the hell is going on around here? It's really cold outside. So. Uh, why are you guys naked? Hey. 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 What is going on here? You follow the naked guy. I got the other one. What are you doing? Who are you? The fuck is a local? Andy, where are you at? Andy. Oh, there you are. Um, can you hear? All right. You know what? Okay. I'll take that as easy. Can you speak? If you can speak, raise your hand. Or just speak. If you can hear me, raise your hand. Hello. Hey, uh, Andy, check your pocket. Uh, which one? <laughs> I've got several. Oh. Sleeps a note in your jean pocket there. It's... Right. Well. I'm not going to leave you out here to uh, to freeze to death there, mister. Yeah, so we can just... Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to get him off the chair, though. Well, that was a nice kick. I don't think you can do anything once he sits down in his chair, unfortunately. Or can you? Got him? Pull, pull, pull. Come on, you can do it. Come on, pull. Come on, mister. I don't want you to freeze today. I mean, I could try a throwing knife. That'll probably get him up on the chair, huh? Uh, <laughs> here. I, uh... I just, I'll just get it real close to him here. Hold on. 
Stand back. Oh, he's good. He doesn't even flinch. You might you want to stand up for me, mister? Oh god, that was an accident. Oh, well, that was an accident. He moved right into it. I swear to god it was an accident. Well, he's your last act in oh. Jesus, Tilly. He, he walked into it. I didn't mean to. Just for your last act, put me in jail. Oh shit, oh, man. God. Oh, Jesus. that is. Look, it's just on the Jesus. side of his head. Oh, God. Oh, it's just a gray. It's just Jesus a gray. What did you do? He moved into it. I was going to throw it in the wall next to him and he got up and walked right into the damn thing. I swear to God he didn't do it on purpose. Well, now, Look, it's just on the side. It's just kind of on the side there, just above his ear a little uh, bit. Sure. Sure. Right. Well, can you get him off the chair? Well, shit. Crap. No, I don't think I can. Hold on. Let me try it from this side. Pull that side, too. <laughs> I don't think this is going to I swear to God, I did not mean to do that. He literally walked into he's, it. He's going to freeze to death. I know, I know, but we can't get him off the bench. Oh, that looks like it hurts. He doesn't him. bleed Fuck. out first. Yeah, Jesus well, Christ. here, I will hold something on him. There. I swear to God, he didn't do it on purpose. Uh, yeah, no, I saw him move, but like, come on, Tilly. What? I, you did. It was a very <laughs> unfortunate set of circumstances. <laughs> and quite honestly, uh, it's just the way my day's been going. So, you know, probably bad day for him too now, but. screamed or anything so. no but i wish he would like i don't know i wish i could oh is he moving or is no. it just me he might be frozen at this oh boy i mean of all the fucking times to move why did he have to move right then Do we have any doctors around? Or did they all go to sleep? Not me. He's moving. I see him moving. Woo. Well, that's a hell of a way to end the night. Fucking way to fuck that one up, Tilly. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can... I don't think I can get him off. Hold on. What happened if we... sat on him? <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Crap. Look, when you wake up, go see the local doctor. And then when you wake up, you need to come back, but you need to look in your pocket, mister, whoever you are, and try to find uh, the newspaper if you don't have it. And you need... I'm not even sure he can hear us. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure either because he wasn't raising his hands or anything. Is he... Oh, you know what? There's a good way to see if he's even... Hold on. I got an idea. Uh, he's, he's actually not in, in, uh, he's not very salty. Let's put it that way. Well, that explains. This, this has been happening, uh, there was, uh, this has been happening a couple of, uh, couple of days in a row now. There's been, uh, and considering the, um, name. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. For a minute there, I thought I was going to have to feel bad about knifing him in the head. I don't know what to do, though. Um, should we, uh, 
Hang on. Maybe we need to... Uh... Is someone hurt here? Well, you can sort of say that. Um, oh. so, uh, <laughs> he doesn't... He, d he's, he doesn't hear. Frozen uh, on oh. oh. the... Oh, what? Oh, wait. Wait? What? what? Maybe. Oh. oh, maybe. Oh, okay. Wait. The problem is, is he's not in... He's not salty, he if you get what I'm saying. Hear. He's not salty at all. Oh. Yeah. And, um... Did he call yeah. for a doctor? Yeah. How... How is he still... What? Do you see this? He's how, sitting there he, drinking. How is he... How is he doing that? Yeah, how? I got a doctor's call. <laughs> I don't know. I there is something very strange going on here. You did, because he... It was him. Long story. I will explain everything in a little okay. bit. But uh, how the okay. hell did he just do that, Andy? Did you see that, or was it just me? Okay, so he's, he can't hear at all. There, grab him when oh. he gets up. Get him, get him. Quickly, before he goes down again. He's trying to go to sleep. There you go, perfect. Hey, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh my sitting. God, oh. this is ridiculous. I got an idea. Let me let me just check on something this, real quick. This happened earlier, and um, Angel had to fix it, if you know what I mean. Oh, he's sweet. Uh, well, believe me, I do. Hang on. Well, he could... He was here. I mean, I'm assuming he's here. He was raising his hands at me earlier, and he's clearly sat down and is switching seats. Yeah, see, he's doing that. Yeah, he he can. So he can he can hear. He can't speak. He he can't hear or speak as far. He can see me waving my arms. Clearly. Yeah. Oh. 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 That nearly ended badly. Oh. Right. Okay. Okay, you're not going to freak. Okay. Uh, no, he's not in salty. There, you're in my. I didn't realize you were in my. So he's, he's okay. He's not in salty chat. Uh, according uh, well, to what I'm looking at, go because warm, but, he should be showing up. I guess he's all right. But he, uh, all right. well, all right. I sort of accidentally knifed him in the back of the head, but that, that's because he walked into it. But, well, that's another story. We'll talk about it later. But, We're just going to figure uh, He's out. not in Salty. His team name is um, Mike Hunt. And uh, we're trying to figure out how to communicate with him to he's not stuck he literally is just sitting on the bench and we couldn't we couldn't get him to move so i am I, I sent you a little uh, uh a little in the indie staffsies stuff i'm not quite sure i mean we can't really can't seem to communicate with him so um I'm kind of wondering if I should just give him a little boot <laughs> and tell him to fucking <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't want to be too harsh. I already fucking knifed the guy in accident, so Is he communicating with you in uh uh not not in in written format either on the notepad uh. well, I guess his hands are sort of tied but still So he doesn't need medical attention. Uh, oh. Well, I mean, probably, actually, probably could use his... could use. He might have a little nick on his head, but the problem that we're having is we can't even communicate with him at a basal level. So we're having a little difficulty right now. Well, he, he wouldn't be able to tell you what's, what's exactly wrong with him. exactly. Oh, I see. I mean, I can tell you what's wrong with him if you want. <laughs> uh. All right. Whoop. Well. Whoop. 
guess that takes care of that. For now, I suppose. Wish I could look these down. Yeah, no kidding. Was that you or him? Do we need to expect him back or? <laughs> Get off the porch. Well, thanks for coming anyway. Thank Elena. you, Elena. Hey, that's yeah, right. thank you for coming. I, I wouldn't have been able to do a whole lot if. Uh, oh, it was him. So he may anyway, come back. Yeah, he may come back. Right. He might be trying to get out of the ropes. Right. You know. It's all good. Thank you. Stay safe. You too. Safe travel. Uh. Yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of watching for. The very. He's in there. I just heard them fighting him, fighting someone outside, which I'm assuming that was a loop that wandered up. Well, it took me a minute to figure it out, but yeah, it was a local. I was talking to him for the longest okay. time so until I, I realized it was actually a local. local. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I heard them fighting. And I saw the local lying out in the street and uh, thought it might have been someone, but. And then he came walking out of the doctor's office. Uh, well, at least it distracted me from crying my eyes out for a few minutes. Oh, uh, don't cry your eyes. Why do you say that? You're like... Because if you cry, then I'll cry. And then, you know, I don't like crying. <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye, that's all. It's not goodbye. It's just see you It's goodbye. Any way you shake it. It's not goodbye. Yes, no. it is. You are far too black and white about that. Like I said, I'm not dying. It's not like I'm never going to Yeah, but I don't get to wake up every day and, and look forward to the possibility of you being here anymore, do I? So, yeah, for me, uh, it is kind of goodbye. It's kind of hard, you know? All right, all right. I just... It's not the end of the world. I want to go see my... I know. I don't blame you. I'm not blaming you, okay? I'm not. It's just one more reason to wonder what the fuck I'm doing, that's all. I never noticed that sign over there. Did you ever notice that sign over there? Yes. The one that says weapons sold best quality guns in the state. Uh, you know, I don't think I've noticed it. Oh. I think that might be me. Or I'm just blind. I think I'm just blind. I think I'm probably just blind too. Who knows? Maybe I'll get back for Christmas or something. Hmm. You know, I was just going to pass through the camp by Blackwood. Yeah, like reminiscing and how I used to sleep there like a <laughs> I remember. I remember. Like a gypsy. Yeah. And I was you know, Nothing cave. nothing is as it was, you know. It's just not in Oh nothing ever. And it's okay. I get that. But where do you figure out where you fit in all of it, you know? Hmm. I wish I had a brother who would send me a telegram and say, come see me. <laughs> I have 
Please don't it's just me. It's no, it's just me. He cares you when she comes around. I mean, where would you want it? I don't know. I don't know. Just somewhere where everybody hadn't already decided who I was, you know? Sometimes you try to change, and people don't let you, Andy. They don't let you. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. But I am tired and... Uh, I'm gonna miss you so much. I hope you're true to your word. I hope you do come back and say hello. But I'm not going to hold my breath. You've been a good friend. We've been through a lot together. shitty town. <laughs> Wish I had some hot chocolate. Are you alright? Did you just see that look that ran up to me and gave me did I see what? Ah, uh, there was a local that just ran up and gave me. I saw nothing. There was no local that came up here. No, no, no. There was, there was a little boy who came and gave me this. What are you fucking talking about? Are you losing? <laughs> have you lost your fucking mind? <laughs> yes, yes, I have. Because there is no little boy. What? What are you okay, talking about? Right. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> what do you mean? Never mind. You've been smoking my Nothing. weed? I need to drink more. I think so. I think I, that stuff you gave me a long time ago has is, is gone wrong. I, well, don't blame it on my stash. I got a good stash. I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. Best quality. No, it's just been sitting because I haven't. What, what in the business. world gone, are you talking about? It's gone off. What did you see? How could you see it and I didn't see it? Uh, it must be my imagination. Seriously, you lost it or something? Your hat too tight? No, <laughs> probably. Just, think, just forget it. Just forget it. Forget it. Uh. Okay. You want oh, a drink? Oh God! What? I cannot. Uh, why? What are you what are you talking about? It's all this place is full of <laughs> full of what? Horses. There is no horses in here. <coughs> there are no horses in here. What are you talking Metaphorical about? Metaphorical horses, silly. What are you what? <laughs> what is a metaphorical horse? <laughs> the ones that you ride for money. Oh, whores. <laughs> oh, I thought you said horses. It's full of whores. Okay. I, well, I, I mean, I can, if that's bothering you, I can take care of that for you real easy. Why no, is it all, no, why is it only, all right. what is it's this, a all, cat house? Holy shit, all. there isn't a single man in here, is there? I know, right? No, it's just us ladies. 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 Hey, I am, I'm Welcome, up for, and it's party ladies. time. Hold on, hold on. It is party time. All of you.